So, I guess I have buildings? Oh, I, the building is Sonoka. Sure. All right. That's great. Anyway. Uh, so we're going to start off with the chapter. Chapter 14. Uh, and then do some supports. I did grind a few more. So we have more than uh, we left off with yesterday. But let's go. All right, chapter 14, Light Scatters. Corny and her group at last reconnect with Ryoma and Shev. Reunited, everyone pledges to combine their efforts and try to restore peace to the world. Wow, that that's a tall order. Especially for chapter 14. It seems early. But an attempt was made, I guess. Leashes. All right, Eka, are you ready? Yeah. We stand together. Welcome to the Shev Underground. This is where the resistance meets. We should be safe here for the time being. It's in the basement of a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Thank you, Ryoma. I think I speak for everyone when I say this. We're so glad to have you back in command. Are we? You don't know him. We all missed you so much. I knew you'd be fine, but I'm still glad to have you back. <laughs> now that we're all reunited, nothing can stop us. Well, I don't know. I we're just having this conversation now after he's had so many supports with people and has been <laughs> like prowling around the camp on patrols. <laughs> <clears throat> Leisha said tonight's proof that sometimes social anxiety is good. I was going to go get some junk food, even though I'm trying to eat better. And when I approached, I saw it was really busy inside and peaced out. <laughs> See, it, it kept you on your way to your goals. Thank you, everyone. It's great to see you all again. And I must apologize for making you all worry so much. To think of all you've overcome to track me down. I almost feel a little bit like a jerk for leaving. <laughs> I've never been prouder to be your older brother. Yeah, he left to go LARP. We've got this. So, what's next? Now that we're all back together, it seems like anything is possible. Hey. I like the sound of that. So you all must be Ryoma's siblings, right? Yeah, Scarlet. <laughs> I feel like you should know that yeah. <laughs> at this point. Ah, uh, yes. It seems introductions are in order. Ryoma isn't paying attention. This is my younger brother, Takumi. And my sisters, Hinoka, Azura, Korni, and Sakura. Everyone, this is Scarlet. <laughs> he keeps talking about how hot they are. Yeah, Scarlet, shouldn't you? Maybe that's why she was confused. She's like... Well, he keeps talking about how hot these people are. I thought they were his sisters, but that can't be right. <laughs> Wait, those names are awfully familiar. Are you named after the Hoshidan royal family? Oh, Scarlet, you dum-dum. That's right. Uh, you could say that. Ryoma, you also dum-dum. Why didn't you just lie? <laughs> Why didn't you give them fake names if you wanted to protect your identity? Oh, well. We are the Hoshiden royal family. What? Uh, please forgive me, your highness. I had no idea you were the Ryoma. What? What was unclear? <laughs> the armor? The hair? He was LARPing. The name? He was LARPing. 
in the other armor. She didn't see this armor underneath the other armor. <laughs> Please, Scarlet. I love how he was laughing, but his face is unchanged. <laughs> I think that's how Ryoma laughs. Very, <laughs> very sternly. You may simply call me Lord Ryoma. It's like being on a first name basis, but not quite, because you <laughs> still should call me Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your Lord. I apologize for not revealing my true identity earlier, but it was necessary. I wanted to get a true feel for your group without my royalty muddying the waters. You needn't have worried. We have a common enemy, and many of us have strong ties to Hushido. My own grandfather was one of the king's servants many years ago. What? What? Is that so? Yeah. D yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've always wanted to be a knight because of him. We got a lot of people like that. It's like, so-and-so was a knight, so now I'm going to be a knight. Scarlet, you're like better Hannah with less supports. In fact, if it wouldn't be out of place, I'd really like to join your party. You already have. You've seen what I can do in battle. What do you say? Thank you. I say we'd be lucky to have you. Welcome aboard. Not a problem. Yes. Thank you so much, Lord Ryoma. All right. Corny. I feel like Corny needs to announce her presence, so she just screams when she, <laughs> she comes up to talk. All right. Ryoma, can you tell us some more about the resistance? Yes. The group here in Shev is one of the most well organized. In the early stages of battle, I learned of this group and decided to investigate. I made my way to this region and joined the resistance under false pretenses. You might say I was LARPing. Of course, <laughs> you must realize that there are underground anti Hoshido groups as well. Mostly in Florida. That's why it's important for us to have a presence in regions controlled by Noor. In case the conflict spreads. I can't believe I didn't recognize him. Oh well. I'm just glad we're on the same side. Oh well. All of us in the Chev Resistance simply wish to be free of Noor's oppressive rule and their ice cream. Understood. It's terrible. Yes, it is terrible. It's important to remember that we're not just fighting for Hoshido. Garon's mania for conquest, you know, the title of his game and ice cream, must not be allowed to claim one nation more. Oh, what? shit. What was that? I thought this was a safe house. It's not very safe if we're getting a shot at. <gasps> it is. Nobody outside the resistance knows about this place. Let's see what's going on. I'm sure it's nothing. That will lead to a battle. What's going on? What was that blast? Milady, we're surrounded by Norian troops, Uwu. <laughs> Our men have engaged the enemy, but we're severely outnumbered. No! How did they know that we were here? Probably all the flags that have like ice cream with like a no symbol. <laughs> <laughs> we may we may still have a traitor among us. It can't be. What are you suggesting? You saw what happened to Zola? Unbelievable. I don't know, Corny. How else could this have happened? Everyone's like Corny is the traitor. No. I refuse to believe. Listen. <laughs> Just like the hit game Among Us, <laughs> Lucy. Who did you see venting, no Corny? It was <laughs> Silas! <laughs> we must evacuate immediately. There's a secret path nearby. The Great Destroyer! It was the shockwave from Camilla's ass clapping!
Come, everyone. I saw a Zama vent. <laughs> we we should get rid of a Zama just in case. <laughs> but what then? That path leads right to Nor's doorstep. That's right. Indeed. And that is exactly where I intend to go. Are you serious? We're not ready for that kind of mission. Actually, Scarlet, I think we are. Running from the enemy won't bring this war to an end. We need to confront King Garen directly. Remember the last time we tried to do that and it failed spectacularly? I remember. And I believe that a swift counterattack would be the last thing he expects now. Mm. What do you think, Corny? Let's go. <laughs> Don't ask her. I think you're right. Moving forward quickly with a small force could actually work. I don't know. Hey. Garlet, if you're not on board with this plan, get the fuck out. I understand it must be hard to leave your troops here to fend for themselves. No, I'll go with you. Are they gonna die? <laughs> While we're gone? The resistance here is strong. We may be outnumbered, but we'll win the day. I can see the conviction in your eyes. <laughs> Does everyone just look at look at Corny's face? That says conviction. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> Excellent. Now that we're in agreement, we should get moving. No thought in her eyes at all. <laughs> The sooner we make our move, the greater our advantage. Hi, Umbreons. Hmm. So this path leads all the way to Nar. Are you sure we'll be safe? <laughs> Was this just a tunnel they found in the ground? Yeah, you're going to assume that Garon doesn't know about that? We should be. Then again, I thought that our safe house was actually safe. We need like... That was great, Scarlet. Love that. She's such a jokester. We built the path for this exact purpose, but I had no idea we'd use it this soon. I'm so sorry. I am sorry, Scarlet. Our arrival has certainly set things in motion. It's all right. Maybe it's just the spark we needed to finally make a move. Ryoma's hair. Every time I see, like, the full... His just full mane. <laughs> so please, wipe that sad look off your face. We're gonna kick some butt. That's... Oh my god. Dang. Holy shit, bitch! <laughs> Thanks. I guess I needed that. She cannot stand up straight anymore. If we're going to invade Nar all by ourselves, I'd better be confident. Confidence is not your problem, Corny. We're close, everyone. Time to get serious. Umbreon was not here for laughter and jokes. Hey, Umbreon's. Oh, you're fine. You did not miss much, Umbreon's. Well, that's a formidable wall, and there's no shortage of troops. Everyone, please listen up. Once we cross the border, there's no turning back. If anyone wants to retreat, now's your chance. You will not be judged. They they will be judged. No need to worry. I'll follow you to the end of the world, Corny. You have my support. I'm coming with you. I mean, I would hope so. Mozu, you don't leave get Leave you here leave. to take on these jerks all by yourself? Forget about it. I'll bend my bow to your will, Corny. I don't think you should bend your bow. It might break. I'll help too. I wouldn't think of staying behind after all you've done for us. What? Has Corny done that much for them? I mean, I guess... I guess Corny kind of took over the army while Ryomo's LARPing. Ah ha ha ha. Riam, I thought you did I thought you said to get serious, and now you're off laughing. I'm pleased to see you taking on the role of a leader, Corny. 
You're becoming worthy of the sword that chose you. Hey, Wildcat. Hi. Naturally, I will not be turning back. Naturally. You know this already, but you have my support as well, Corny. Everyone. Thank you, everyone. Your support means the world to me. Now, let's head into Nor and show King Garon we mean business. Hey. No, put the pig down. Thank you. And by not judge, she means immediate execution. <laughs> Azama, you want to retreat, right? <laughs> I mean, he probably does, though. All right, let's check out the map. What do we got going on here? Benny? I think I, I think, is he the one with the bird? Daniela, I have no idea who you are. I'm pretty sure I have Benny and Heroes. Beanie? Beanie? Yeah, he is the bird, okay. So I know him. Beanie. <laughs> Beanie. <laughs> Beanie and bird. Okay. Um, I don't know who Danielle is, but anyway. All right. Um, let's see. Well, sadly, we have to bring Corny. Um. Right, Kaze. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Sakura. One thing I like about this game compared to Awakening is that you can pair people up before the battle starts, which is really nice. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Just makes things a little bit faster. Uh, okay, we'll bring Takumi. Oh, is there any unique dialogue that I need to, I need to know about? <laughs> Why do we have to deploy the main character? Another thing, though, is that um, if Corny dies, at least in the challenge battles, it doesn't end the battle, which is really nice. If you, if I'm just, like, grinding supports, because that was kind of annoying with Krom uh, and Robin, too, I think, from Awakening. All right, Takumi and... How about Jacob? Jacob, there you are. Ryoma. Hmm. Anna. Having two game over conditions was dumb. It felt like you were forced to pair them up. Yeah. It like it wasn't too bad, you know, in the main battles. And it makes sense that you can't let them die in the main battles, but it was really annoying in challenges. I'm like, look, I'm just trying to get supports, man. Um, Saizo and Setsuna together. Okay, five more. See, loss. Mm, okay, Aboro. Being able to pair them up also makes it easier for me so that I don't have to remember <laughs> all the characters I had wanted to pair up together. Probably just dialogue between Corny and Benny and Charlotte if there is any. Okay. There may not be. We've never seen them yet. Oh, uh, Subaki. Uh oh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll put Subaki with Mozu. 
How do you guys imagine Benny sounding? Like a bird. <laughs> he just squawks. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Uh, bring a zero. <laughs> Zura can dance and inspire everyone. All right. Yep. That looks good. <laughs> High pitched and like the do. Kellen. Well, those are uh, those are very different. <laughs> if you capture Daniela and turn her into a dark flyer, she'll glitch out and have her normal horse floating. Very stupid, but funny, Lucy. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. All right. Um. I guess I'll just pair them up. They're the last ones. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, hang on. <laughs> okay. Keep in mind, I've seen nearly no supports in this game, so my impression of characters may change a lot. I'm interested. Have any of them changed so far, Lucy? Yeah, have we made you change your mind at all? Have we influenced you? You still love Rinka and Setsuna. You thought Azamo was just a sarcastic priest, but I guess that was wrong. <laughs> oh man, where's Libra when you need him? Libra and Pandreo, so much better. Dear God, Boro. <laughs> was not expecting that viciousness. Let's do it this way. Get some support points. You hate, you love Corny, hated Corin, so that there's a shift. That is a pretty big shift. Well, <laughs> good job, Ryoma. A whole point. We're proud of you. Oh my god. I think that's the first time I've actually seen him <laughs> in this class. Because I had the animations on. <laughs> Perfect. Just perfection. I'm ready. He doesn't poof anymore. He doesn't. But, but Kaze no, does. No, he, he rides away on his puppet. <laughs> At least I'm assuming Kaze does in his class. You leave me no choice. God damn. Well. Yeah, he still poofs. What? Well, hello. <laughs> hello, new friends. Jacob, make yourself useful. Charlotte wears a mask around nobility and hot men and where she acts like a poor defenseless maiden or housewife. Material in her actual personality where she's angry. She's like an angry punette. Well then. What a... What an image. Scarlet is cool, but her lack of support suck. 
Yeah, it just makes me not really want to use her that much. Look at me getting revenge. <laughs> Why? Okay. <laughs> that is topical. Charlotte's basically Gold Mary, but tolerable mixed with Panette. Kind of seems like Gold Mary mixed with Hilda because Hilda definitely weaponized incompetence. Benny's a gentle giant that accidentally scares people with his face slash gruff voice. Gruff voice. All right. Oh, while well, speaking of the right there. Uh I'll wait and see if Corny has Corny has dialogue. Setson, are you? No, you're level one, okay. <laughs> Sizo, can you control that thing? Do you see him in the background? <laughs> He's struggling. <laughs> How the hell does he ride it? That's a very good question. We may never know. Oh, I think I can have... Yeah, let's have Sakura. Finish this off. Nice. She needs to get her um, weapon skill up. It's like an E, I think. The army is a bull riding machine now? Handling a puppet is difficult, okay? <laughs> mm. Yeah, we'll just put you over here. The puppet thing is very impractical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be. It <laughs> you looks think like a lot so? to carry. <laughs> you think so? What makes you say that? Leave it to Unacceptable. Good job, Kaze. I was hoping you would do that. Dad Kaze doing dad things. <laughs> we are all right. We're done here. He's just Raiden. Kaze had, has to increasingly be dad since Saizo's revenge plot has gone so off the rails he's riding a puppet to battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure there's much hope for him.
Hey, Benny. Yeah, I know. I had to. Looks to me like you're on the wrong side of the river. Sorry. Anyway, go on. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, Rude tore out all of his toys and put them around the food bowl, and Luna couldn't get to it, so she was barking at me. Aw. <laughs> what a brat. Oh, Rue. He's mad because I told him to drop the pig. Oh, uh, nothing personal. I'll make it quick. I thought you were going with, hey, Benny, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well. Here we go. Oh, I guess they don't have dialogue. Which might make sense if Courtney doesn't know them. Charlotte and Benny are any aren't aren't anything special like a retainer. They were like town guardsmen or something. Charlotte was? Excuse me while I become a Pokemon. Oh, what? Does that not say 0% crit? I... I did my best. And that's all I can say. It says zero percent. <laughs> that was the dragon fang skill, no crit. Okay. So, well, I guess we didn't see a body, so he may not be dead. Oh, no, switch. There we go. Guessing they're the Rinka Kaze equivalent characters. Yeah, that could be. She just she's just an axe user? Is she crying? Looks like it. Well, I mean, she did just see Benny get bodied, so. Is she often crying? Must be, that's her portrait. Fake tears? <laughs> All right. She cries when she has a poor matchup. Oh. Like puppy dog guys, they have different portraits depending how the battle forecast is. Ew. She's all about the crocodile tears. All right. <laughs> well, her crocodile tears are pretty gone, and this just seems angry. Uh, I have better things to do. Why do you have to invade today? I'm so ready for this. Nice, nice, nice. That fits. Thanks. Oh, I can see that butt. Oh. Holy crap, her That's butt a is. Butt? That is a butt. Well, glad we saw it while we could, because Oh, it's and she gone. flipped around so we could see it again. You're such a pain. Like this thong up my butt. That one experience point to get her to level four. I know. <laughs> no, 
Yeah, Scarlet has a scar on her ass too. She Azura and Azura runs match. up and steals the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> she loots the body for underwear. Oh hell yeah! Let's do this. Trigger a landslide. Get fucked. <laughs> You'd think that would have done more damage. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mfu, how are you? Hello. Is this Tim. a war cry? <laughs> yeah, Tim, that, that, it, it, that would not be fun. He's got his butt out, too. Is it hot? Everyone just has to have their ass out so they don't sweat. Sun's out. The uh, cheek's out. <laughs> it's Garon mandated? <laughs> Well, they did. I win. It's the fighter uniform, unfortunately. Well, I hope it goes well for you, Amfu. Thanks to Three Houses and Engage, the last two RTS games I've played, I often reflexively attempt to redo a move only to find out these games don't have that mechanic. Yeah, this this one doesn't, which I didn't use it a lot, but sometimes, you know, if I'm trying to get dialogue or, you know, I would use it and uh, can't, <laughs> can't do that here. Okay, Satsuna. Oh no, the puppet's surrounded. He did not want to lose the puppet. Rumo's like, we spend a lot of money on that thing. <clears throat> Ooh, what was that? Puppet costs more than my car. <laughs> Astra. Strike five times at half damage. Okay. Let's move you over here. Ryoma's very broken. <laughs> sure looks that way. Astra's a great skill. I feel like Ryoma is a better Diamant combat-wise. Not necessarily person-wise. I think they're pretty similar in their personalities. What do you know? I killed a guy. I'm always 
Ryoma basically is sort of the creator, but infinite uses. Well, that's handy. Okay. Each Astra strike can crit too. So it's 2.5 times the damage already and then five chances to crit. Wow. Nice. Damn, Kaze. Astro's bonkers and fates. So, like, can't I use... Uh, hmm. So, would that mean, theoretically, that that would be passed on to his kid? Or is it, is it just based on class? The kid inherits, I believe, the last skill. Maybe getting that mixed up with awakening from each parent. It can be reordered. Okay. Think Mozu can use a bow upgrade. Yeah, I need I need to do that. Think only sword masters get it by leveling. The skill in the last slot is passed down. Okay, so I'll just... If you guys can remind me, because I would assume that we probably want Ryoma's kid to have that skill. So if, you know, when we decide to do the pairings, if you guys can give me that reminder to switch the skills around. If the kid will be a sword master, they'll get it naturally, but it depends what you put them in. I can you. She always sounds so excited. Yeah. I can support you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Most kids are the same class as the dad, but not all. So usually you might want to consider passing down a skill from reclassing. Hmm. If Ryoma marries Corny or Azura, then two kids would get his Astro ability. Oh, does Azura have her own? in addition to the father. Let's heal you up. Azura is like Krom, okay. Let's switch. Has a child whose hair color never changes. Hmm. Okay. I'm assuming it's going to be blue then.
Mosley's like covered in blood. Did I get stronger? <laughs> you, in fact, you, you might have, kiddo. You, yeah. Eating the heart of the fallen enemy. Oh boy, my uh, my right earbud is really dying now. <laughs> uh, well, the sound's now flickering Aww, in my right ear. It does suck. I liked I liked these headphones. They've served me since. 2018. Uh, I don't know if Corny's gonna have Dyla. I'll try to get her over here. Anything corny? Oh, well, that's not for I did not expect her face to look like that. All right. Oh dear. How sad for you to make it all the way here only to be butchered by me. Yeah, I bet. Looks like a rejected, like one of the little mermaid sisters, like Ariel's sisters. <laughs> Impossible! Well, now you're dead. Now what? Oops. Hi, <laughs> Cronia. <laughs> oh, geez. I'm going to have to pull this earbud out because it's like really, it's a lot. Okay. I'm just not going to use that earbud. We made it. Did that really just happen? <laughs> Why, yes, it did, Corny. Yes, Corny, we won this battle. But remember, we're in Norian territory now. We've got a long way to go. I know, but... Can't I just be happy for a minute? <laughs> oh, of course. Ho, ho, ho. But time is of the essence. Garen will hear about this soon. He's busy. And his kitty pool of ice cream. Uh, hang on a second. I'm gonna try to plug in my over ear headphones. I just have to grab the cord. I just, this is annoying me. That's understandable. I can't, I can't stand it when. I don't have my headphones in, so headphones I can't hear you if you're talking. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> when uh, headphones or speakers or anything are making like strange noises or not working right, it just annoys the crap out of me. She did look a little bit like Kronya. Garen's not paying attention to anything. Iago is doing everything. Yeah, that's why his name's Iago. That's the purpose of every Iago character. They're the evil vizier. Gamer headphones on a DS. That's hardcore. Go big or go home. Audio files all the way. Sometimes they work and sometimes nah. Get get new ones. Protonia. That sounds like. That sounds like uh like Cold War era superhero. They're already kind of new. That's disappointing. What brand are they? Because these, honestly, with how good these were supposed to be, I would have expected them to last longer than four years. And then she's got pairs of skull candy earbuds that have lasted for like a decade. JBL, that's a good brand. That's really disappointing. 
whenever I get actual headphones, one of the ears always breaks very quickly. Is it the same ear every time? Maybe it's maybe it's your ear. Your ear just hates earbuds. Hey Joker, how you doing? How's everyone? How's everyone tonight? We're doing well. We're taking a little bit of a break while Kita finds a new pair of headphones. All right, I'm back. I had to grab my skull candy ones because I can't find the cord for my over ear ones. But anyway, she's back. I am back. These, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is so much bass. <laughs> In these, they're so much louder than the I other ones. I think that's what uh, that's what cheaper earbuds go for. It's like <laughs> they they just crank up the bass to compensate for a sound quality. Yeah, that it's it's wildly different after using those for so many years. <laughs> All right, super uh, bass means good sound, right, guys? Yeah. The game audio didn't lower for you guys, did it? Because I I was trying to lower it for me separately. No. Okay, it didn't lower for you, so that's good. Chat, is it still... Is game audio still good? This is why I swapped to full headband headphones that have both Bluetooth. It does have a jack, I just can't find the cable for it. Which one do you need? Do you need the really long... One that has the three and a half millimeter on both sides. No, it's bo It's a. There are bows. Uh, there are a pair of bows, and I think they have its own cable. And I, it's somewhere. I just don't know where it is because I oh, always use these wireless. Okay. Yeah, I always use these as wireless headphones, so I'll just have to find it. But anyway, sounds the same. Okay, good. It shouldn't affect you, but uh, you know, I just want to make sure. But yeah, I had to lower the volume a lot because Eco, you were so freaking loud <laughs> and bassy in my ears. <laughs> that yeah, that's that's pretty much what it sounded like. All right, so let's continue. It won't be long before more Norian troops are on our trail. He's right. We've got to find some place to rest. It'll be dark soon. There's cover in the forest nearby. What do you think, Ryoma? Here we go. I think that's a good idea. Let's move toward the forest. I've been studying maps of the area in preparation for this scenario. This one exactly. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Well, this is pretty. Xander told him. <sighs> Ugh, I can't get any sleep. If only I could shut off my brain for a few hours. Oh, corny, sweet summer child. Let's see, who, who's going to meet corny in this moonlit field? Is it going to be... Is it going to be Camilla? Silas, <laughs> Camilla? Could be. Garon just rolls up, has a tub of ice oh. cream. Double dark chocolate. <laughs> What's that? Maybe it's the ghost of Makoto. It's Azura. I was right. He doesn't seem okay. Maybe I shouldn't have celebrated. Ah, it's Azura. I wonder what she's doing up at this hour. I don't know. She hasn't she's... she hasn't had panties for days. No, that's a problem. Um, she also seems to go into the water and come out of the water. So, like, is she a sea creature? I mean, Corny's a dragon, and Azura seems separate from like I don't know, she seems kind of separated a bit from everybody else and that makes me wonder if she's like also some kind of dragon maybe a sea dragon or a sea is horse she, is she a splatoon maybe hi messy hey messy burb she could be a kraken i don't know but like it seemed like she was coming out of the water azura the kraken a seedra exactly a seedra i hope everything's okay 
It almost seemed like she was going to faint back in Nestra. Well, there's only one way to find out. Hey, Toko. Yeah, to Snoop. Hi, Toko. You're just in time for this intense confrontation. Hmm. Where'd, where'd she go? I can hear her voice. Is she under underwater? The... Wouldn't her voice be bubbly? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's like the Zora? It sounds like she's singing that song again. Corny, that's the only song she knows. Like, her mixtapes are just the same song, like, ten times. Um. Yeah, see, she's in the water. Does she have, is she a mermaid? Does she have a tail? Her one-hit wonder. Is she a siren? Yeah, she's gonna try and eat Corny right now. She's undying. <laughs> Azara, we just heard you singing the song. I'm not singing it for you. Ah, there she is. Seems a bit cold for a swim. Uh -huh. Oh, Corny. <laughs> what a response, Corny. Azura, what are you doing out here? Couldn't sleep? <sighs> Were you following me? Um. Uh... I suppose I was. I just heard your voice, and I wanted to ask you something. Like, why are you in the water? Huh? Yes, what is it? Well, well, it's about the song you were singing just now. The only one you've ever sung in your life. <sighs> I see. <sighs> Hi, Mika. I'm here for more shenanigans. <laughs> hey, Mika. Welcome back. You will get shenanigans. <clears throat> What can you tell me about it? It seems to have a different effect on everyone. For example, when you sang to Takumi, it seemed to break the spell he was under. But when you sang to the Norian soldiers, it was almost like they were in a trance. And Izana knew some of the words, even though he'd never heard it sung before. How is that possible? That, um... I'm sorry, but I'd rather not talk about it. Really? Azura, it's me. You can tell me anything. Go on. You should try and get some sleep. We're going to be up early tomorrow. Azura. I'm telling you, she has a tail. She's she's hiding a tail. Please don't change the subject. You won't talk about the song, and I feel as though I hardly know anything about you. Even though they have an A support. Doesn't that make you feel, doesn't that make you lonely? You know that we're all friends, or we're here for you. I'm sorry. Corny, it's not that simple. <sighs> Azura? Azura, what's wrong? How can I help? <gasps> um, what is happening? Is she a werewolf? A sea werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> She's a were-maid. <laughs> a merwolf, I think, would be <laughs> a merwolf. She's drowning. I hope she's not drowning. <laughs> her, it's only her legs that are in the water. That's where her gills are. <laughs> no, Azura. Is she gonna become a Pokemon too? We can be Pokemons together. <laughs> In ankle deep water. Oh, this is normal. She's creating a void in her arm. Oh. Or she's evolving. <laughs> Messy. I mean, you look you're the Az same. <laughs> your Azura evolved into Dragonair. What the fuck is happening to you? Huff, huff, huff. <sighs> I'm okay now. I'm sorry to have worried you. No. Please don't 
apologize. I'll go get someone. Can Sakura help? I'm kind of useless. I'm afraid not. What you've seen is the result of a curse. Truly. Like you, I carry special blood in my veins. But this comes at a price. I can sing for fun, or even to help someone in battle and I'll be okay. But when I sing that song, in combination with my pendant, I'm able to generate a special kind of power. It can't be. The power to exercise demons? Something like that. But in exchange, every time I use the power, I suffer. It doesn't always happen right away, but it always happens. What was that? Why didn't you tell us before? You've been suffering needlessly this whole time? No. No, the suffering is temporary, and I always recover. <gasps> but... Listen. But nothing. Each time I have sung that song, it was required. And it will be required again in the near future. We will eventually need the song's power to defeat King Garon. <sighs> what is he, possessed by some ice cream loving demon? I say. No need to worry. Please don't worry. Although it is excruciating, the pain always subsides. <laughs> Please don't worry, even though it's excruciating. <laughs> if my song can help us end the war. I'll sing it as many times as necessary. Understood. Okay. <laughs> but you must promise that you won't ever put yourself in danger. I don't know how you can willingly inflict such suffering upon yourself. Trust me. I promise. If only everyone were as kind-hearted as you, we'd have no war at all, Corny. Well, I don't know about that. Azura. Thank you, Azura. My apologies. I'm sorry for not telling you about this before, but I didn't want you to worry. Remember, you mustn't hesitate to have me use the song if it becomes necessary. It's always the blue-haired girlies. <laughs> I don't know. Like, is this curse just going to end up being pointless? Because I feel like it might end up being pointless in the grand scheme of life. In the grand scheme of life? Yeah. Probably. The curse is an incredibly stupid part of fates and its issues. Uh-oh. It's ridiculous. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And I don't know about that. So far, it's kind of pointless. It would have been much cooler if she were a Pokemon or, you know, a mermaid or an octopus or something. If she were an octopus. Yeah, why not? Why not? In the in the final battle, she stops singing that song and starts singing the calamari incantation. Exactly, exactly. That's what we need. <laughs> All right. Well, that was chapter fourteen. So, the progress. All right. But now. We have we have supports and that means shenanigans or a buffer fish. <laughs> Miss Puff. Mrs. Puff. She's suddenly teaching everyone how to drive. Um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna finish Scarlet's because she only has one left. So did we not recruit anybody that chapter? Wow. Oh, finally, a chapter in which we didn't recruit someone. I'm shocked. We didn't get anybody. Wow. No. Nope. Ah, Scarlet. It's pretty late. I was just talking to Azura about her curse. What did you need? Are you cursed too? Uh, sorry about that. No, I'm not cursed. I mean, I only have one support in this game, so that's kind of a curse, but... I'm not cursed in any other way. I just felt like stargazing with you. Stargazing? Yeah. It, it's easy. You just lie down on this here blanket and look up. All right. Well, what do you think? It's breathtaking. I never realized how many stars there were in the sky. 
Yeah, this is one of the best hills for it. The stars are so pretty here. Oh. What? Did you see a shooting star? No. It's just... Looking up at the stars, I realize how small we are. They remind me of the stones you use to decorate your weapons. Huh. <laughs> Don't they, though? Part of the reason I like making mosaics is that they remind me of the stars. Really? I mentioned my parents, yeah? They aren't around anymore. The war took them. I'm sorry to hear that, but, like, you're in good company because everyone here has dead parents. Except Reyna, somehow. In Chev, we believe the people who die turn into stars. We are avid fans of the Lion King, you see. I was going to say, this is, is this the great kings of the past story? Definitely. The great kings of the past are up there. So when I lie out here stargazing, it feels almost like visiting my folks. <laughs> Remember who you are, Scarlet. And that's the same reason you decorate your weapons? Yeah. Hey, Corny. When I die, what color star do you think I'll be? Uh, don't ask that. It's bad luck. Orochi told me. Hey, we all gotta go sometime. Can't avoid thinking or talking about it if, you sh if you've chosen to go to war. Don't tell me you've never wondered what happens after you die. Corny has never thought about that. I I promise you. <laughs> she's she's never. In that case, I'd say the shiniest stone on your weapon is the one you would be. Yeah, I like that. Good choice, Corny. One of these days we'll get your weapon decorated too, if you know what I'm saying. Huh? With a bunch of those stones you say remind you of me. If that's a serious offer, I'm looking forward to it. We'll need a design. Maybe watching the stars will give us some inspiration. Sounds good. All right, well, two, two completely done. Isn't that exciting? Be excited. There's only 5,000 more. There's one support each. <laughs> So it, it worked a little better for me last night to not sit in one voice for a long time to jump between them. So if we could do that again, that would be cool. Okay. Um, Sakura has a couple. Look, we're going to finish this one too. Yay, progress. Hey. Corny, do you have a minute? Of course. What is it? I didn't tell you this the other day because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. But I think I know the reason I'm so anxious all the time. You do? Please, tell me. Well, I was really little when you were kidnapped and taken to Nor. One day I overheard some maids talking. They said that Nor wasn't after you. They planned to kidnap me instead. What? <laughs> wow. You know, sometimes Corny really does fit <laughs> in her dialogue. I know. Later I found out it was just a rumor. I still felt terrible. It was all my fault that my sister got kidnapped. Uh, but that's not true, you poor thing. That was never your fault. That was the guy who likes the ice cream. You're really kind to say that, Corny. I still worry that you'll leave us again. Not until conquest. Don't worry, Sakura. I'm not going anywhere. I'll always protect you. Thank you, Corny. It's easier to be brave now that we're together again. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Kaze. I thought I'd show you a few more of my dolls, if you promise not to laugh. Have I laughed yet? In my life? <laughs> oh, yes, I believe I have. No, now that you mention it, you haven't. Here they are. I used to have four, but then I got this one. Wow, this is really well made. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of someone. 
Yes, I have one doll for each of my siblings. See, that's what I thought. And then I was like, that'd be weird. But... Here we go. Their hair color matches, see? I see. So this one is supposed to be Lady Corny. Yes. When everyone is off fighting, it's nice to have something to hold on to. They must be very special to you. Do your siblings know? <laughs> I was going to say voodoo dolls. <laughs> that would be a little out of character for Sakura, but you know what? In this game... Yes, Takumi rolled his eyes. He thinks it's immature. Of course he does, but I bet Lady Corny was happy to see this. Yeah, along with Ryoma and Hinoka, the important siblings. Even Azura smiled, and she never smiles. You're lucky to have such a wonderful family. Yes. They inspire me to keep going, my brothers and sisters. And you too, Kaze. You're kind of a dad. Thank you, milady. I would sacrifice body and soul to protect you and the others. We'll get through this. There will be peace on the other side of this war. You'll see. I hope so. So this... That was their A support. So the next support would be their wedding. Oh, no. Mm. I really thought the important siblings was the official line. Thanks, Messy. I love I love tricking you. <laughs> <laughs> Since you finished a story chapter, there should be more building upgrades or whatever when we're done with supports. Oh, good point. <clears throat> Is the S support going to be her with a Kaze doll? Oh, doll, Lucy. No, see, probably. Probably. Excuse me, Lady Sakura. I'd like a moment. Oh, hi, Saizo. Sure, I'm not busy. That was cute <laughs> until I connected the dots, Joker. See, huh. yeah, a lot of these would be cute if Kaze was just, like, a, a father figure. <laughs> Thanks for your help. It was only your intervention that kept me alive. Oh, anytime. You're almost like family to us. So I don't mind helping you. You're almost like family. No. Not quite, though. <laughs> but, Lady Sakura, why were you so far from camp that night? I was feeling restless. Now that I think of it, maybe I knew somehow about your predicament. Mm. It must be a divine gift you enjoy as a shrine maiden. Like, look, this man looks like he could actually be her father. They have the same hair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's Makoto's secret. Ah, she had an affair with Saizo, Saizo. I mean, maybe she did. Whatever it is, I'm glad it saved you. That's how he got his name, Saizo the Filth. <laughs> Yes, well, while we're on the subject. I'm actually your dad. Yes, Saizo? I want you to have this. Oh, desserts from the castle town at Hoshido. These are so hard to come by. How did you get your hands on them? He stole them. And then poofed. I heard they were favorites of yours. So I acquired a few as a token of my gratitude. Actually, he can't poof anymore, so he stole them, jumped on that puppet, and sped and away. Rode away. And everyone was too <laughs> terrified to follow him. <laughs> you got these just for me? 
That's what I said. Yes. He 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 he. Why are you laughing now? Because it's funny to think of you going out to buy desserts. That's. <laughs> oh, sorry. I keep giggling in front of you. Oh, instead of keeping them all to myself, why don't I share these with you? <laughs> the hee hee's help. <laughs> no, that's all right. I. But there's way too much for me to eat alone. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I have to go. Poof. <laughs> Poof. <coughs> Saizo, he vanished. Was it something I said? <laughs> wow, Saizo. So we have Dad Kaze and unhinged Uncle Saizo. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> well, that happened. All right. How about we'll do we'll do some of Orochi's because she has like a thousand of them. Oh man. Hold on. I'm gonna save real quick. I am. Very worried <clears throat> about accidentally <laughs> clicking the A plus, which I don't want to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Hello there, Lady Corny. Oh, Orochi. Thank you for sharing those funny stories about my mother last time, like how she fucked Saizo that one time. I fear I made her out to be a buffoon. Far <laughs> from the truth. Perfect. You didn't know such thing. You revealed a side I would never have known. She was a super freak. Super freak. But she had many facets. That woman was a gem. I'd like to tell you about the side of her that was kindness itself. I'm all ears. She was kind enough to treat me with the greatest respect. My family has long served as diviners at the royal palace. But we've been treated very poorly. I can't believe that. Really? We diviners tell as many bad fortunes as good, which can make us unpopular. That that seems like it kind of makes you maybe a fraud. Oh, she means bad fortunes as in like negative fortunes. How unjust to speak the truth and be blamed for it. Indeed, but my fate was changed when I met Lady Makoto. She treated me like her own daughter, no matter what fortunes I told her. I guess she was trying to replace Corny then. A rare soul, I guess. The rarest. Why, once I saw enemies outside the palace. I rushed at them, tried to drive them off by myself, and got hurt badly. She wept at my bedside that night, and many nights after that, because I was faking. Once I got better, Lady Makoto said I must never run off like that again. To make sure that I didn't, she made me one of her personal attendants. She sounds like a perfection. Lady Makoto was so kind, being in her presence was like basking in the sun. A beautiful memory. Thank you for sharing it. Of course. Now if you'll excuse me, Lady Corny. Those are all the memories that road she has in her right now. Are you going to tell me that you are also sleeping with my mother, Orochi? I don't know if I can handle that right now. <clears throat> Mikoto really got around. I think Makoto did get around. Good for her. It was just really free love in Hoshido. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Hi, E. Izana How are you? was jealous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, E. I'm exhausted. That darn Kaze. You called? Duh! Pardon, Orochi. 
It seems that I was able to approach you yet again in the shadows. Oh, hang on. I got to plug in the 3DS. Oh. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, we don't want it to <laughs> die. That would be a problem. Mikoto loved all her people. Every <laughs> last one of them. Especially the ladies. Yes, I know. Twist the knife a little more, why don't you? I can't play this game with you anymore, Orochi. I scare you every time. I have trained for years in the ways of stealth. You cannot expect to detect me so soon. Why, look how weary you are. Jush! Orochi will not be defeated so easily. I will learn to do this. Or you will collapse in a nervous wreck. Ninja or simply not seen. We will play this game until it's done. I do not quit. So, if you are committed to our game of cat and mouse, I have a proposal. I'm listening. This cat will wear a bell. The better for the mouse to hear him. You want to wear a collar, Kaze? <laughs> Why, yes. You'll... Yes, I do. <laughs> You'll actually wear a bell? Hmm, not bad, but it'd better be a bell that rings ever so slightly. I've never been able to talk to anyone about this. Except Caden. I feel rather strange right now. Except, except Caden. Oh, dear, no. <laughs> you know what? Maybe he's already wearing a collar under his scarf, and we just have to <laughs> attach a little bell to it. <laughs> He's been wearing it this whole time. He's really into it. Slightly it is. That will help you hear me at the threshold of perception. Kaze is just a big old kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> Mind you, I won't wear it in battle. That is where I draw the line. <laughs> Only during our games. Games, huh? Games. We aren't... We aren't done yet today. Go strap on a bell, Kaze. I'll be listening for you. Yeah, Kaze, go get that strap on. I'm glad to serve, Orochi. Nice also to see you in better spirits. Yes, yes, just go find that bell. I'll be in a great mood when I hear your little tingling, Kaze. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> we don't even have Perfect. to work. We Perfect. Don't even... We don't even have to work that hard. It's just in the text. <laughs> Shall we refer directly to the text? Yeah, they're definitely see, gonna bang. I feel Kaze like Kaze is a sub. See, I feel like Orochi knows what she's doing, and Kaze is just like really naive and oblivious, and like doesn't get it. What He's is... going to be very, very shocked when later on they meet up and she's wearing even less. <laughs> she just shows up to their next meeting naked. I heard you, Belle. He's like, what? She has a leash for him. Whatever <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> I think there's been a misunderstanding. <laughs> you won't remember this. <laughs> The collar was one thing he wasn't expecting, the whip. <laughs> it's like in what we do in the shadows when Nadja keeps erasing their memory. <laughs> You'll remember none of this. <laughs> you won't remember that I murdered him. <laughs> A minute of your time, Orochi. I've always got a minute for you, Subaki. If not several. Wink, wink. Hmm. But I don't like the look of that grin on your face, Subaki. I've heard that you are playing certain games with Kaze. <laughs> I wondered if 
you might include me too. <laughs> no, that's not at all what he said. Ha! Huh. I triumphed over the bad fortune you said was in store for me. I've been vigilant. I've avoided every mishap and pitfall. For example, I saw an utterly unwashed fellow in a nearby town take a tumble. Was it Saizo? I helped him up, but only after putting a glove on my hand first. He fell off his puppet. I don't directly touch the peasants, you see. <laughs> no grime, no sludge, not a speck of dirt passed between us. Mm, but have you encountered more such chaos than usual? You sound like a ghost. Orochi is a ghost. It's Orochi the friendly ghost. Mm. Oh, yes. From all sides. But I have risen above it with a plum. Well done. Whoa there, Orochi. You sound far from happy for me. I guess I hoped that such a perfect perfectionist might fail. Once. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, I forgive you. I'm used to friends hoping to see me fail a little. It must be hard to see me sail through life for those that struggle. By the way... Why are you carrying that ewer of icky-looking fluid? Um... What color is it? She got it from Kaze. It's a new brew of oh. mine. I sued herbs with some noxious ingredients. Oh, ooh. I'm feeling suddenly dizzy. Watch out, Hirochi. Hey. Oops. Are you all right, Tsubaki? Uh, what is this stuff? It's all gooey and lumpy, oh God. like some sort of evil soup. And what are these, croutons? N noodles? You don't want to know. <laughs> no. Dead insects! Oh, and worms! And rat tails! Ew, ew, ew! Someone, anyone, help! How unlucky. I really shouldn't chuckle. That would be wrong and petty of me. <laughs> wow. Wow, Orochi. <laughs> Fire Emblem just dropped for GBA on Switch. Nice. Well, 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 if it's not my prickly, stuffy, arrogant friend. And his puppet. Back to attack me with your sloppy grasp of synonyms, I see. We're going to have it out. Right now! You're not getting away this time. Go ahead. I'm sure that your time is better spent here with me than practicing battle maneuvers. You really don't care that you speak viciously to everyone? I say what I say. Now, are we done? Uh, I'm afraid not. Remember how I said I'd take matters into my own hands if you didn't change? Well, it's time that Orochi grabs the bull by the horns. Is that what you did to Kaze? Uh, what? You came to Castle Shirasagi with your father when you were just a boy. It was for an audience with King Sumeragi. It was also when you and I first met. Yes. So what? I introduced myself as a fortune teller. Told you that I could see your future. I predicted ill tidings. The disaster would soon come knocking at your door. You nearly wet your breeches, remember? Who cares? 
What decent child wouldn't soil himself if a witchy brat taunted him? So you did piss yourself. Was... That's on record. Also, again, I would not have expected these two to be the same age. No. <laughs> But what if I spread that story? As you said the last time we spoke, women do love to gossip. You wouldn't. I already have. And oh. I've got more gossip to spread too. So, ready to talk about your bad attitude? I... I... Uh, never mind. I've got to undo all the damage you've caused, witch. Uh, Saizo, come back! <laughs> As I thought. The mighty Saizo has a weak spot. How adorable. Imagine that leading to marriage. Be like, son, when I first met your mom, I pissed my pants. And that's how I knew that one day. And that's how I knew she was the one for me. <laughs> that's a no TP from me, Joker. No one else <laughs> has ever terrified me so deeply. <laughs> I guess since she was done with Kaze, it was time to move on to Saizo. I guess so. Oh, man. So, ready for another herbal battle, Hayato? <laughs> yeah, ready to win. Oh, how cute. The little man brags before he's done a thing. What? You started this with all your bragging, Orochi. And your win last time showed me how wrong I was. It's a new day. Shall we see which of us is better at concocting? A potion battle? A battle of potency. I have two white cards here. They turn redder the more potent a potion is. So, we concoct our potions, steep these cards. Voila, a winner. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. Where did you get these cards? This sounds fishy. How potent was Kaze? No, Hayato. I would get no satisfaction from winning a rigged game. Do I sense that you're scared? Are your potions? My potions are potent enough, thank you very much. More than yours. Good. And you can count on the accuracy of these cards. They're used in the royal household to gauge that potions are just right. These little darlings will serve the purpose, I promise. I love how that's what she's using them for. They seem important. She's like, nah, I'm just going to use them for this contest. Fine. Let's get started. Huh. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, have your stirring rod ready? The challenge. Mix a potent cold medicine. And go! Ooh, done already! And you, Hayato! Still mixing your potion here? Orochi, it's been two seconds. No, I'm done. Easy peasy. I think they both cheated. Now dip your card. I'll dip mine, and we'll see whose is... Whoa. Yours is way redder. Orochi wins! Practice round. Let's try for real. I want a do-over. You could have a hundred practice rounds and never win against me. Admit it. Your potency is lacking. Oh, God. My dad said I didn't need to worry about being potent for, like, five more years. <laughs> no, new challenge. Mix a healing potion. I'm good at those. He doesn't have a dad. His dad gave him to us. 
It was like, take this child. Take this child. He's not potent yet. Hang on. One potion coming right up. Fine. I'll just win again. Done and dipped. <laughs> That's slang for something. <laughs> Come on, Orochi. You're falling behind. Huh? You won? It must be a fluke. New challenge! A salve for Tooth Rot! Tooth Rot, eh? <laughs> Got it, twerp! Get mixing! She's turned into Jesse from Team Rocket. She <laughs> She's always been on the edge of Jesse. You married Saizo to Orochi in your first playthrough, did you, Umbreon's? Joker, that's a long con. <laughs> <laughs> Aboro! <laughs> what? He wasn't, like, he wasn't finding a match in the village, so he had to, like, outsource him so he would find a partner. <laughs> I found a way to keep you from making that awful face. Wow. You're kidding me. How? Actually, breaking you of the habit would be almost impossible. So, I thought we'd try covering it up. Ta-da! What is it? She's just going to put a, a bag over bag. her head? <clears throat> what are these? A bunch of masks? Yep. Aren't they something? I stole them. You can't scare any children if your face is hidden behind one of my masks. <laughs> That's not true. These are some of my best work. They're all beautiful. And look how cute this one is. Pick out anyone you like. Uh, sure. What's wrong? You don't think it'll work? No, it's just that the masks are, well, kind of weird. Like this one. Why are the eyebrows so thick? It looks angry. And I don't know what to make of the heavy rouge on this one's cheeks. What are you getting at? This one's teeth are polished gold. I can't wear these. I worked for three days and nights on these masks, and that's all you can say! I feel like Orochi is just getting more unhinged. That long. Wow. At least that long! I went without sleep. I'll just solve your problem. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Sorry, I couldn't help it. I was picturing you fighting off sleep to paint these. And how is that funny? I do appreciate it, though. Thank you. There it is. That's the face. Was I making it again just now? No, no. Last time, that kid saw you looking scary and demonic, so he cried. Next time that happens, just smile at the little guy. You think it'll be that easy? With an adorable smile like yours, it'll be easier than falling off a log or Saizo falling off his puppet. Hmm, okay. I'll try it. Thanks for the advice, Orochi. Any time. But I did work hard on these masks. Be sure to try them too. Uh, yeah. I'll do that. Wow. That was... That was certainly something. Saizo is a bad influence. <laughs> oh no. Now what? Do you want to put a collar on him, too? Oh, he's already got one. <laughs> Get away! Off with you! And you, and you, and you! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. <laughs> and you! Exactly as I predicted. 
Caden's in a world of trouble. He really shouldn't have run off with that talisman before I explained everything. Orochi! 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 Yes, Caden, I'm right here. Your talisman Goodness. has a get off attracted every cat off off within a hundred miles. You look like the center of attention at a cat convention. Did you find oh. the specific cat you needed to find? Maybe. I can't tell. Too many cats. Your talisman's so powerful. I'm gonna drown in cats. Help, Orochi. Mm, no, I'm not gonna make the joke. Silly Caden, <laughs> simply throw the talisman away from you. Huh? Oh, right. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, that worked like a charm. Oh my god. Now watch as the cats go. Is the one you want there somewhere? Yes. There. That one. Easily caught, too. He's rubbing his nose all over the talisman. The catnip inside it will have that little deer dazed within moments. Uh, what's cat mint? Cat nip Caden. It's a special herb that makes cats swoon. The mint attracted the cats? Nip Caden nip But yes, the cat nip drew them all in. Ah, oh, don't I feel stupid. I thought the talisman enchanted the cats. Truth is, I've never seen my catnip talisman work so well. I think you have some quality that cats find enticing, too. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe it's the fact that he's, uh, like them. Ah, oh, well. Now you can return that cat to its owner and repay your debt. Thanks a bunch, Orochi. Then you can repay me! I've got some odd jobs you can help me with. Oh, yeah, no problem. Caden always repays his debts. He's a Lannister. I'm like the Lannister <laughs> without the murder. <laughs> or the incest. Like, that's not cool, man. <laughs> not a coincidence that Hayato's fursona is a himbo. Well, he's not. You mean Hina Hinata? Hinata's was uh was secretly Caden, not Hayato. You know, Nip. You have six of those, Caden. The Umbreons. Oh. Too many characters. There's a lot of characters that have like their names start with H. To be fair. And they're kind of similar sounding names. Lord Takumi, a moment, if you please. What, Orochi? <laughs> it sounds so defeated. What, Orochi? <laughs> <laughs> I've come into possession of the cutest little doll I've ever seen. I stole it from Sakura. It's such a pretty little baby, too. The perfect doll for you. What? Are you crazy? I don't play with dolls. I never have. They're action figures. Is that so? I remember you as a little lord, having to snuggle a doll to sleep at night. Never. N no. Once you forget, I see all, especially the past. I see you and Lady Sakura 
holding court with a dozen of your favorite dolls. Ah, oh, the good old days. Hey, shut it! You shouldn't be spilling our secrets like that. Not that it happened. But it's one of my favorite memories. Besides, you should know that you're all gooey under your gruff crust. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Just ew. <laughs> Terrible imagery. Whoa. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? What? Give your secrets away? Air your dirty laundry? Wow. Azura was already doing that. How very dirty it is! Alright. Enough of that. Don't make me regret putting up with you for so long. I've served at the pleasure of the palace since you were tiny. I mowed some fun. How much older is she than him? Come yeah, now. The ages, the ages aren't lining up here. The ages are not lining up. She and Saizo are like the same age, but she's older than Takami. I guess Takami's younger. I mean, I knew he was younger, but it's making it sound like there's 10 years between them. At least. Takumi Come. and Hayato are actually the same age. <laughs> Come now, Lord Takumi. I'm only teasing. Nothing to get angry about. She's eternal. <laughs> That's it, Melium. She's just been around for centuries. Now, hasn't this been a lovely walk down memory lane? Let's do this again. Oh, uh, Garochi. Forget that. I'm not a I'm not about to play mouse to that cat. Figuring out ages and fates is like a logarithmic <laughs> equation. Yeah, I I just Saizo and Kaze being twins and then Orochi is the same age as them or at least around the same age as them but then is significantly older than Takumi. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. It's gotta be here. Somewhere. Anywhere. Why in such a panic, old friend? You've turned this room upside down. Have you lost something? Ugh! Uh, you're, you're the last person I wanted to bump into right now, Kagero. Tell me what's wrong, Orochi. I lost one of my cards. You know, my fortune-telling cards. I see. No, you don't, or else you'd be upset too. They're from the deck you made for me. That deck is my most prized possession. I sleep with it under my pillow. You value my silly drawings too highly. I'll just make you another card. Another one? It's irreplaceable! Don't be ridiculous. Easily done. I just need a little time, that's all. Unless... Did you sell your soul to make my napkin scribbles magical? Now you are being ridiculous. They're not magical, but they are special <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Then leave it to me. I'll try to copy it from memory. Which card did you lose? The one with the brook and the fish. Oh, that one. That one will be tricky to recreate, but I'll do my best. Thank you, dear friend. And again, I'm sorry for losing it. All right, who stole it? Someone stole it. Who do we think it was? Saizo? To get back at her for the pee story? Probably. Um, I don't know. He would he would probably have the easiest time stealing it. Yeah, I think it was Saizo. <laughs> Definitely Saizo. It was Mozu! <laughs> Stop apologizing. I'm just surprised you hung on to those drawings for so long. You can count on me, as I've counted on you since we were children. Okay, so they're the same age too, I guess? I guess. I mean, I they look pretty close. I would think Kagero might be a little bit older, but I mean at least they kind of I would seem think Kagero's like a little older. But yeah, I wouldn't I would put them in like Angel Feather said like late twenties at least. Yeah, I would say about I thought that. a road I thought a road she was younger than that, but who who knows in this game? Saizo I thought was like pushing forty, so who knows? 
like two peas in a pod, but I'm the luckier of the peas. <laughs> well, this pea has got to get rolling if she's going to get this card done. The brook card. You couldn't have lost an easier one to remake, hmm? That girl. Does she really not remember why that card is so special to me? I'll just be glad to have it back in my deck, no matter how I get it. I'm fortunate to have such a good friend as... To have such a good friend as Kagero. See, I was wow. going to say that Azama stole the card, but I don't think he would steal her cards. I just think he would vandalize them. Stealing implies... He would only steal it if he could then, like, use it to blackmail her or make fun of her. He's not, a, he's not somebody that's going to steal something and not tell you that he did it. No, he would just draw dicks on all the characters. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. <laughs> True. You think he'd move them somewhere obscure? Yeah, I could see that too. All right. Oh, we're finishing up this support chain. Hooray. Lady Corny, what are we doing here? Welcome to the world of the mind, Mozu. The what now? Academia! The list of things you could learn is endless. My the hero. <laughs> the history of the world. Taxonomy. <laughs> I thought that's a taxidermy. Of species, grammar, literature, science. Hi, Adrian. Hello. I'm Welcome. ready. I'm ready to tutor you in a wide range of subjects. Like school? I thought you might have missed out on a formal education growing up since everyone died. So this seemed like a good opportunity for you to study something new. Isn't that stuff for nobles? I don't know if I'm cut out for it. Don't worry about it, although you'll never be able to pay back your loans. Not my problem. I might not be the best teacher in the world, but I think you have the makings of a great student. You can already do so many things that I can't. Well, that's true. There is a lot of, in this world I've always wondered about. We just didn't have anybody back on the farm who could teach us. I might be hopeless at growing or catching my own food. But as a member of your new family... When did that happen? I want to do this for you. New family. Yes, I know you miss what you had, and that's natural. But I want you to consider all of us here with you now, your new family. Wow, Corny. <laughs> Just forget your dead mom and your village. Just forget them. We're your new family now, Mozu. If you oh, ever need. Fates is your favorite fire emblem. You didn't finish it? Which one didn't you finish? That is rough. Corny's making a cult. This feels like a watered-down version of Scum Dad and Donald support. I mean... Mozu kind of is just Donald. <laughs> if you ever need support or a helping hand, I hope you'll turn to us. Lady Corny... <laughs> Mozu, what's wrong? Was it something I said? Was it your trauma? No, silly. These are the first happy tears I've ever cried. You, you, well? Thanks a whole lot, Lady Corny. I can come visit you and all the other folks when I start to feel lonely. Of course you can. You don't have another option. Thank you so much. God, Corny. Corny is projecting on Mosu. <laughs> Donald, with, now with more trauma? <laughs> <laughs> the new and improved Donald. He has more trauma now. Okay. Fans seeing you. What a pleasant surprise. <gasps> a 
Azama! What are you doing here? Oh, I thought we could continue our conversation from the other day. You're too much fun to resist. Well, you and I don't have the same idea of fun, obviously. This sure doesn't feel like a happy coincidence to me. Ha 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 good comeback. Oh gosh, I don't know what to do. Say, how did you think I was going to make fun of you anyway? How? Um... Since I'm just a country girl, I figured you would poke fun at the way I talk, even though I ha don't have a southern accent at all. Maybe call me a scaredy cat. Or you could say my clothes are threadbare and crummy. You're just giving him material, Mozu. I don't know. Something like that, I guess. <laughs> he must shed everywhere. Oh, for I sure. He, he sheds. Interesting. Well, that certainly gives me a lot of ammunition. Thanks. Imagine choosing the most traumatized child to be a dick to <laughs> out of everyone in this army. <laughs> like, yep, that one. These people really need stranger danger whistles. Well, Kaze is about to get a bell, so. Oh, shoot. I hadn't told you about all my stupid insecurities. This is terrible. Well, if you don't want to get a good ribbing from me, you better run. You don't think she should kick you in the ribs. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm getting out of here. You're not getting away that easy. Wait up, Mozu. He's just chasing her down the hallway? Probably. Did nobody get her better clothes? No, Corny was like, sorry, it's not in the budget. <laughs> Even Jacob knew to hold off on Mozu, he did. I think I think Jacob knows not to cross certain lines. Hopefully. Whew. Well, I'm glad that's finished. The farming is finally done for the day. Done? <laughs> you must be forgetting about the weeding. The what? Oh well, yeah, you gotta do the weeding. Then there's the raking and the watering. Watering? Well, you mean we have to carry that enormous water jug again? You're not tired already, are you? No, of course I'm not tired. Who am I kidding? I give up. You're right. I'm not cut out for this. My legs hurt. My arms hurt. My back hurts. I'm completely covered in mud. I hate this. <laughs> I tried to tell you. You royal folk in farming don't mix. Go on. I'll finish up. Are you serious? I don't know how you do this every day. Well, I've had a lot of practice. You get used to it, but now I love it. You pour a little of yourself into the land and hope it gives something back. Your mom poured a lot of blood into the land and... It doesn't always oh, work no. out, but you gotta keep trying. What do you mean it doesn't always work out? You do all this and you can still fail? Oh, sure. Nature's gotta do her part too, and sometimes she don't give a fuck. You can plant a whole field of crops, but if a big storm comes and wipes them all out, you gotta start over. So far, we've had some good weather. My fingers are crossed we get a nice harvest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I better get back to work. Mozu, wait. Is there something else I can help with? Well, sure. Why don't you start plowing this field here? You don't have to dig deep. See? 
Just turn over the topsoil to make a nice soft bed for these seeds. Like this? Yeah, like that. You know, you might be make a good farmer after all. Thanks, Mozu. Go on. I'll take care of this. What? Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Lord Takumi. It's real nice to have some help. No one else is helping this child. Huh. Too soon, Kita. <laughs> you think you married Mozu to Takumi? Uh, I... Mozu's S supports are gonna be something. Uh... Okay. Oh, we're going to finish off this one, too. Good. Look. Can you see how the leaves on the path are a different color? Oh, yes. They're really quite pretty when I look at them now. I want a closer look. No, don't do that. Were you listening earlier? That color change is a sign of a hidden hole? Oh. Did you say that? I did! Here, look at the base of that tree. Does it seem odd how those fruits are there? Oh. Those look really, really fresh. Seeing those makes me kind of hungry. That's enough! I told you not to touch stuff laid out like that. You'll be hanging upside down by your ankle if you do. Oh, sorry. I really don't understand. How can you be this inattentive all the time? You have got to be more aware of your surroundings. This coming from you, Corny? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. It's just, this is so much fun. Most people just kind of give up on me after a bit because they don't really listen. <laughs> You're trying so hard, and it just seems really amusing to me. Um. Lady Corny, your face is all red. Do you need to cool down? We can move over into this really shady area if it'll help. Here, follow me. That's in a wait. That's. Where did this net come from? Oh no. Is this another trap? Yes! It's a good thing you're here already, isn't it, Lady Corny? Could you help me again? It'd really make me happy. Huh. <laughs> I guess so. Just stay still for a moment. Thank you. Maybe Setsuna has... a kidnapped fetish. She just... You know, she likes to get trapped and have someone save her. Yeah, I think that's it. I, th I think that might be... <sighs> Big sigh. Yeah. Wait, you don't want to see Kaze? No, sorry. Just something totally out of game. Oh. Um. Now, to begin your ninjutsu training, you must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows and avoid the light. Try to get to that tree without being seen. We need random bell jingles during his supports. I, Lucy, I was thinking <laughs> that. Ding, 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 ding. All right. <laughs> Are you into pet play? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you will pick it up quite quickly. I'm amazed your army doesn't have more friendly fire accidents given the interactions between some of these people. Well, Sizer got shot in the foot. And we're pretty sure it was Setsuna who did it when she was just firing arrows randomly out of a pit. And then Azura had to take off her panties and wrap up the wound, so. You know? Oh, God. <laughs> you snuck up on me the other day like it was nothing. 
Bye. <laughs> Setsuna? She vanished. I never dreamed she would master these skills so quickly. Did she fall in she a pit? She just fell into a... Yeah, she just fell in a... <laughs> Kaze. Help. Whoa. Kaze, don't burp in my face. Oh. I thought I muted the mic. <laughs> you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> it didn't work. That's why she fell in the pit to get away from it. <laughs> She's like, whoop. I'm down here now. I tried to mute the mic and I just didn't click the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Good attempt. Setsuna, is that you? I found a mushroom, but when I got close, I fell in this hole. I cannot get out. I I cannot get out. <laughs> Oh, I see. You've fallen into a hunter's trap. Hmm. Does this happen to you often? Yes. I'm often told that I'm not attentive. Perhaps we should begin your training with something else, then. Instead, we will focus today on spotting, disarming, and escaping traps. Here, allow me to help you out. Thank you. Let's start with the easy part. How to escape a trap once caught in one. That's easy. Yes, most traps are trivially easy to escape, provided you know how they work. Kaze, you really are committed to teaching me, aren't you? Of course. I could not allow a little setback like this to dissuade me. Now let us begin. Okay. I will do my best. Will you, Setsuna? Will you? You still can't get over the panties, Mika! Oh, that is, I'm sure, not the worst thing that will happen during this playthrough. No, I've just gotta I've gotta tell somebody this. So our dog Luna has to take some medication. And uh it's a very expensive medication. Or so I fucking thought. Uh I just went on our vet's online store and realized that the online price is $30 cheaper than buying it through them. Now, when I checked this in the past, that price was not so low. They never mm -hmm. told me about this. They never notified me, which means that for the last two years, maybe, I've been paying about $400 too much on the dog medications, and nobody said a fucking word. And now I'm done with that. Well, maybe maybe the change is recent. Are you sure it's for the same amount of pills? Same amount, same dose. It's just oh. brand name versus generic. Oh. oh Nobody told me that there was a generic option available. They just uh. kept milking me for the name brand one. God. Four hundred dollars a year. I'm not pleased. Is that why you burped? Mm. 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 I got played. Chat, I got played. Setsuna, why did you break away from the group back there? Um, back where? In the valley, where the recruits were practicing marching. 
they were marching in perfect unison when you suddenly broke off in another direction. She saw a oh. trap and it just drew her like a magnet. <laughs> like moth to a flame. Oh. That's because I saw some wild strawberries and mushrooms. See how tasty they look? Would you like a few? Uh, no. I think I'm good for now. But listen, you can't just go off and do things like that. You're a teacher. The new recruits are trying to learn from you, so you can't display bad habits. You could accidentally teach them to fall into traps like you do. I am quite good at that. <sighs> this time, nothing bad happened, but it may not always be that way. You have to take good care of your recruits. I'm sure my recruits will appreciate the food I found, though. Setsuna, you're leading them. You need to demonstrate leadership behavior. Good leadership behavior. You're saying I'm a leader? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Thank you so much for the compliment, Tsubaki. No one has ever called me a leader. Mika, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Have to go, but thank you for the last. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, if you want to, we have uh, tip jars here. So every time somebody donates or gives bits, we add to the tip jars. So this month, we're doing Worst Dad and Fire Emblem. So we've got Sombron Garon. He's our ice cream loving boy. And Gilbert. So if, if you want, you can put... Uh, your bits towards one of those, but you do not have to. Gilbert, <laughs> thanks, <Mika>. <laughs> Most fuckable dad. Lacious misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> Gilbert, one hundred percent. Thank you, Mika. Sombron has no nipples. Does that qualify you for being a bad dad? If Benuela has entered the chat. <laughs> Hi, Moonlight. How are you? Welcome in. Can do whatever the fuck I want, Subaki. Suck Baki more like Lacious. Hey, Moonlight. I don't know who Desmond is, thus he is not in the jar. Thank you so much for the compliment, Subaki. No one has ever called me a leader. I'm... Uh, I'm not complimenting you, Setsuna. I'm saying you need to display leadership skills. It's our job to train these recruits. We have to work together. I'm counting on you. My perfect record is counting on you. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> She's not going to do her best. I, th I think this is her best. That is her best. <laughs> He came She's in at just quite a not time. A high achiever. Oh, moonlit. You could have come in at any time and been probably scandalized. I'm scandalized. <laughs> Hello, Setsuna. I'm scandalized by this little shit. <laughs> Are you ready to show me how you, how you, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, kid? <laughs> when I looked at this, the, it, it looked to me like handy was the word laundry. So like my brain <laughs> just filled in the rest of what the sentence should be. And it was going to be like, are you ready to show me how you fold your laundry? <laughs> I was like, wait, well, this can't be right. 
Are you ready to show me how your humming can come in handy? You said to meet you out here in the forest so that you could. Yes, this area should be perfect. Wait right there. Even though I was expecting it, it's still such a strange sound. <laughs> Perfect. What's going to happen, I wonder? Ugh, I have those goosebumps again. I don't know what you're doing because Discord has cut you off, so I'm not going to find <laughs> out until the VOD. Discord's like, this is clearly background noise that we're trying to. Cut I think out. it believes that it's background noise. Her <laughs> humming sounds like the Windows startup noise. <laughs> That's it. Was, oh. was a fan this whole, whole time. Bless you? Excuse me. Keep a microwave ASMR. You're welcome. <laughs> beep, beep, boop, beep. <laughs> <laughs> That's like sometimes ASMR YouTubers will do like compilations of the weirdest ideas or the weirdest suggestions. That sounds like something that would be in one of those. I wonder how long I could stay sustain that. It's like one hour of microwave <laughs> sounds. <laughs> it's just that. It would put someone to sleep. <laughs> I can't say that would get me particularly, but it would put someone to sleep. This doesn't do it for you, huh? Well, I don't really know what you did, so maybe it would. <laughs> mm, that's no. That's not what I did. That's that's not giving me the tingles. <laughs> that's what that's happens when, you, when your microwave is from 1970 and it's about to die. It has a nuclear reactor in it. Hey, did you hear that? I could barely hear it over your humming. Oh no, does does your humming attract wilderness spirits? No, it's just Orochi. Orochi is always watching. Look over there. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got 100% of that one. <laughs> It was very strange. <laughs> Is that not how you hum? It disoriented me a little bit. How? I I don't know. I'm going to blame Discord. Is that a deer? Is it your humming that attracted it? <laughs> Is it bees? I want it to be bees. It's me bees. Too. Not the bees. He's just standing at the edge of the woods. It's Claude. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it wants to move closer. <laughs> it's Claude. <laughs> Claude's don't, like walking like an animal. Don't scare him. Don't scare him. And now. Ah! Oh, that was your bow and arrow. She just shot Claude. Claude. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Garrick Mach, <laughs> the Golden Deer are wondering where their class leader is. Amazing, Setsuna. 
You took it down with a single arrow. <laughs> Rip Claude. <laughs> The Lester Alliance is in shambles. <laughs> I believe today's hunt has been a success, don't you? And now you see my humming works as a lure to forest animals. And students. I understand now. Once you've drawn them in, it's easy to take one down. I just can't imagine why your humming draws them to you so well. I have no idea either, but not knowing is no reason not to use it. And what's even better, they'll only come so close before stopping. That means I can repel wild animals when I get caught in traps. Wouldn't it be easier to just not get caught? Oh, oh, excuse me. That was Did weird. you swallow a bee? <laughs> Yeah, you kind of draw those in, too. Wouldn't it be easier to just not get caught in traps in the first place? That's a good idea. <laughs> At the very end, he's just like, Uh, Satsuna, I don't think this was a real deer. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is a person. This is a guy. <laughs> we better get out of here. Okay. I just need to loop around this boar. What? I just need to loop around this boar? Like walk yeah. around him? Oh, oh, okay. Walk around it? And gently guide him toward my trap. Just over this hill. Go on, you big boar. Keep walking that way. He's hunting Dimitri. <laughs> they got they got Claude. They got Claude. <laughs> now they're going for Dimitri. <laughs> hey Japanime, thank you for the reset for 44 months. Japanime is on a 43 month streak and says hello, Kid and Eco. Hope you're doing well. Hi Japanime, hope you're doing well too. Welcome. Edelgard's the only one that will survive just by virtue of not being outside and instead just hiding in her room painting her professor. <laughs> this is all for Edelgard's birthday. It's her present. <laughs> Nearly there. Just... Oh, for the love of... <laughs> Hmm. Oh, Lord Takumi. Is it morning already? What's the matter? You look a bit surprised to see me here. And now I see what all that ruckus was about. Look at that boar just charging off to the mountains. <laughs> and there That's... goes Dimitri off into the hills. <laughs> <laughs> Kill every last one of them! You! You! Ugh! <laughs> I didn't realize you'd be so excited to see me here. That is not what I mean at all! That scared you, Lacious? Did the snore scare you? How did you get caught in my trap again? I needed that to catch that guy. I mean, my prey. <laughs> I needed it to catch that murderer. Who's on a rampage? <laughs> oh, was the boar I just saw an animal you were trying to catch? Yes. But what's the problem? You can still go out and catch it. So long as it's in the forest, it's still catchable. I know what you're trying to say but I still can't believe you got caught again. What are you even doing out here? Oh, I came because I wanted to hunt with you, my lord. You're incredibly skilled with your bow. I was hoping you would teach me. Really? Why didn't you say so before coming out here then? 
If you'd come with me instead, you wouldn't have gotten caught in my trap. Oh. That is a very good idea, Lord Takumi. How does my sister put up with you? Okay, next time I go hunting, I'll be sure to invite you along. Just don't go into the forest by yourself. She's not going to take that advice. Nope. At all. Nope. Did you start humming a to attract Dimitri? <laughs> Here, boy. Mm. That's when we need to talk. Gagaro, what do you need? In our last battle, you were selected to be the army's messenger. But you forgot almost half the messages you were supposed to relay. Hmm? Uh, now that you mention it, I think I remember what you're talking about. Serving as the messenger is a critical role in the battle. Lives are at risk. You absolutely must take your job more seriously. Sorry. Lady Corny was informed of your difficulties with the job. She has ordered me to instruct you. Instruct me in what? And how to become a shining example of what a battlefield messenger should be. Oh. You must become more focused when you're entrusted with a mission. It won't do for you to cause Lord Ryoma and Lady Hinoka undue worry. Um, Kigero? With my guidance, your training will be incredibly thorough. This is the most fired up I've ever seen you, Kigero. I guess... Thanks for helping. Leave everything to me. I'm sure this will go well. Why'd they let her be a messenger? That is a great question. Whoever put Setsun as the messenger should have known better. They really should, and I bet you it was Azama. I fully believe that. <laughs> Hey there, Setsuna. Want to come hunting with me? I like hunting, but why do you want me to come along? Are they both going to fall in a trap together? Yes. Obviously, because you're amazing with a bow. With my tracking skills, it'll be easy to find some animals to take down. Now I'm picturing him on all fours like... Just running through the forest, sniffing, chasing Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> like barking after him yeah. while Dimitri runs away. That does make sense. But you know I'm really good at falling into traps too, right? I'd probably just get in the way. No worries there. I've got the best eyesight of anyone in camp. Saizo's like, grrr. I'll spot the traps a mile away and let you know before you fall into any. So, since we've covered that, let's go! All right. Watch out over there. There's a trap right next to your foot. Take a step to the left. Okay. Excellent. But now you need to duck under that branch. It's hooked to a tripwire. You're amazing, Caden. How can you spot them so easily? It just comes naturally. It's actually odd to me that you can't see them, really. Really? How interesting. Even if it comes naturally, you see much better at it than other people I know. It's like you're detecting them purely on instinct or intuition. That's because that's exactly how I'm doing it, of course. I'm a kitsune, after all. My senses are much sharper than a human's. I really am quite impressive, aren't I? Ah, look over there. Is that a pheasant? Oops, it slipped into the bushes. 
Hang on. Are you ignoring me? Uh. Let's go catch that pheasant. Sounds good, Caden. You track it and I'll follow close behind. She's gonna fall into a trap on the way there. Hell yeah, she is. <laughs> the forest is just booby trapped? Are you saying Camilla is in the forest? Half of, <laughs> half of the problems in the army are just because someone put Azama in charge of scheduling people's shifts. I fully believe that Azama is actively trying to sabotage the army. Why are there so many traps in this one area? Because Dudu is trying to catch Dimitri. <laughs> he needs a lot. <laughs> Dudu's trying to find him too. <laughs> Poor Dudu. We have to get you home, my lord. Dimitri's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> He's just running around feral. Oh. Hmm. What a nice nap. Now, how did I get here again? Oh, yeah. I wandered through this field when I decided to roll around in the leaves. They felt so good. I curled up and went to sleep. <laughs> no wonder people call me lazy. Huh? What's that? I think something's touching my head Ugh. oh my are you awake <laughs> Azura is that you what are you doing goodness this is awkward what's awkward why are you petting me uh I was walking through this field when I saw you over here taking a nap Ever since the other day, I've been wondering what your fur felt like. This is so embarrassing. But I didn't think you'd wake up. I just barely brushed you. Is that so? Caden, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Disturb me? Of course not. Get over here. I'd be honored to have you stroke my fur. Mm. <laughs> he just rolls over and presents his belly. He would. I had no idea you were into foxes. Honestly, neither did I. What? Is she discovering a kink? New kink unlocked. <laughs> Is that why you left so abruptly the other day? I'm afraid so. I didn't think I could resist giving you a little scratch behind the ears. Azura, I'm shocked. So am I. I had this overwhelming desire to reach out and touch that silky soft fur. Oh, go on. You can pet me anytime you'd like. Thanks for being so understanding, Caden. Are you kidding? This is awesome. I hope you visit me all the time now. Really? I'd love that. What in the hell? <laughs> Yo, this is how I get all the bitches. <laughs> she is a pet kink. She's gonna she's gonna see Kaze with the bell on and be like, hmm. <laughs> She has the inverse of Kaze's pet kink. He wants to be the pet and she wants to be the owner. All right, Rinka and Ryoma. Hey, Ryoma. The other day you said I needed to stay calm during battle. I thought you didn't want my opinion. I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm asking you for strategies. I can tell you're a passionate fighter as well, and yet you keep a level head. That's because I have a secret. Deep breathing? Oh. 
That's my secret, Rinka. I'm always angry. <laughs> yes, I've got one word. Oh, you were closer. I I've got <laughs> one word for you. Meditation. I, I was very close. Meditation? Are you kidding me? It's the first step in my morning routine. I have a whole course available for just nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> in addition to all of my YouTube videos. Here are the Meditation. 10 things every successful person does before 6 a.m. The world's top lords do this before 6 a.m. <laughs> Meditation calms your spirit and heightens your focus. I meditate every morning. <laughs> Rio must the health coach. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what this is. This is all a front. He's just trying to sell them all his course. The effect lasts all day, even in the midst of battle. You should give it a try. Hmm. Okay. So what do you do? Cross your legs and hum? I heard sets in a humming earlier. It was annoying. Just sit however is most comfortable for you. Uh, okay. Like this? Sure. Now, empty your mind. Focus on your breathing. In. Out. In. Out. Oh! This sounds boring. Oh, I thought that was a oh of surprise. It was a ah oh, of relaxation. Yeah, I also thought, like, she punched him or something. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> Empty your mind. You must learn to silence those thoughts. Simply observe. Ryoma learned how to scam people from Orochi. <laughs> Man, he'd have a much easier time doing this with Corny. <laughs> Empty your mind. Okay, done. <laughs> done and done. <laughs> okay. In, out, in, out. Are we done yet? Fuck this. What's wrong? Why are you shouting? This is hard. It takes time to master the art of meditation. You must start slowly. And with a quality coach for only 1990. <laughs> <coughs> Over time, you can work up to longer sessions. I meditate for two hours a day. What are you, some kind of hermit? Hardly. I'm sure you'll do just as well once you get the hang of it. Take your word for it. Let's stop for today. How about we try again later? That sounds good. I'll need all the help I can get. <laughs> now we'll proceed to do a brisk workout followed by a green smoothie <laughs> if you would like 15 minutes of journaling can be an excellent exercise <sighs> what an exhausting day and I still haven't had dinner yet what if there's anything in the kitchen I can take back to my room a wildcat. Is there someone in here? Saizo! Is that you and your puppet? Ah! <laughs> no, it's not me. <laughs> Help! It's in the window looking in. It's just the puppet. <laughs> someone, it's a demon. She saw the puppet in the window. <laughs> it's a demon. Oh, Lady Corny. Huh? Oh, it's only you. Ugh. I must admit, it's a little creepy to see you in a dark room with only a single candle. What the fuck kind of ritual are you doing in here? She's taking Ryoma's meditation class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How many has he sold it to already? Sorry. 
A borrow. Is everything okay? You are staring off into the woods for a moment. Yeah, everything's fine. I'm not convinced. Your attention was wandering last time, too. Is something bothering you? Nothing that Lady Corny should concern herself with. Don't worry about that. I have tons of free time. You shouldn't keep your troubles bottled up inside. I don't mind listening, at least. All right, since you insist. It's not a problem so much as a bad memory. When I was a kid, my parents ran a clothing shop in our village. We were out trading in Nor when bandits attacked and killed them both. I hid in the wagon, and fortunately the bandits didn't notice me. I never knew. Although statistically, it seems like most people in this army have lost their parents, so I should have known. It all happened on the moonless night, just like this one. I can't help but remember when the sky gets black. Which explains why your face was so stormy. I am sorry, Aboro. Here I am, notionally a Norian, asking you to open up to me. It was insensitive. Not at all. You have nothing to feel guilty for, Lady Corny. It's the bandits who are to blame. They're fiends in human shape. Aboro. Oh, uh, sorry. I got kind of carried away there, I guess. I'll, uh, show myself out. That poor girl. If Corny screamed for help at night, I would imagine Jacob would fly through the door feet first. <laughs> Jacob through the window, Silas breaks down the door, and Kaze erupts from a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and Seesaw. <laughs> seesaw. Hey, hero, how are you? This army needs a dedicated personal trauma counselor. It, it, it does. It does need that. It's not going to get it, though, but it needs it. I don't understand. Why isn't the stupid mouse falling for my traps? I just caught Setsuna again. Hey. It's managed to snatch the cheese from every trap without setting them off. I like cheese. <laughs> We're up against a very crafty mouse. Ugh. That thing's making a fool of us. We have to do something. I agree. What we need is a good strategy. Ah, I have it. What's your plan? There's a ninja technique that... T t there's a ninja technique to infuse food with a paralyzing agent. Are you good, Kaze? He's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I just ate some by accident. <laughs> Didn't eat that. He knows that. Well, whatever you said doesn't matter anymore. Great <laughs> idea. Let's try it right away. <laughs> I have enough of the agent already, so all we need is a bit of food. Do you think it would eat one of these dumplings I made for lunch? An entire dumpling? If it tastes as good as it smells, I bet our nemesis will make a beeline for it. The secret is the dried bonito flakes I mixed in. Hey, I just had those on some food the other day. Never mind the mouse, now I want some. What? Wait, you mustn't. I'm just kidding. You're always so serious about everything, Kaze. Lighten up. Now you're just being cruel. <laughs> Sorry. Show me how to make these dumplings for the mouse traps. Oh, right. It would be good for you to learn that. To the kitchen, then. Lead the way. You guys just gonna let me stay here? Or... And... I'm still in I'm still in the mouse trap, guys. <laughs> She's Hino in the mouse trap. Hinoka. Her fingers in the mouse trap and she thinks she can't move. 
Hinoka. <laughs> Hinoka. Jesus Christ, Hinoka, get your girl. <laughs> you lost your girl again. <laughs> Oboro, I wanted to apologize for last time. This is dangerous with this army. Someone's going to eat that off the floor and die. <laughs> That's very true, and it's probably going to be corny. I hope it's Azama. <laughs> oh, yeah? I got curious after you left, so I did some digging. It's easy to see why you hate Norian so much. Norian bandits killed your parents, didn't they? Who told him? <laughs> Who told him that? That seems like something that, you know, the person should tell you. The people on his flat earther subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right in front of me. Just like Mozu, they could bond over that. Oh, your mom died right in front of you, too? Twins! Twinsies? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for touching a sore spot last time, then. I didn't know. That's okay. I'm not mad about it. I fought alongside you long enough by now to know you're alright. I mean... Look at me. I'm not making that face right now, am I? Sure enough. Obero, having lived in Nor all my life, let me just say one thing on its behalf. Nor has its share of heartless villains like the bandits who killed your parents. And the king. And <laughs> the king. But there are good people living there, too. Many Norians are decent folk, just like the people of Hoshido. I'm sure they are. I grant that it may be hard to accept on its own. I just wanted you to know. Yeah, fair enough. I'll try to remember. Thanks, Silas. He can be considerate with her trauma, but when it's Mozu, he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's the same scenario. I'm not sure. I think he was just practicing his whataboutism. <laughs> <laughs> he literally just heard the conversation Corny and Aboro had. Yeah, he was just listening, and then he's like, so, I did some digging. <laughs> Aha! Lord Takumi. Hi, Oboro. Quick question about your ceremonial outfit for after the war is over. What do you think of this fabric? You're planning it already. That's a very early start. Hey, I don't take favors personally requested by my lord lightly. Plus, I like thinking about the future when the war's over. Gives me a fuzzy feeling. Not to mention all eyes would be on any outfit worn to a post-war ceremony. You call it an early start, but I'm already worried I don't have enough time. In that case, let's see this fabric. Hmm. This looks perfect to me. I like the texture and the sheen on it. It gets the Takumi seal of approval. Great. Now that the fabric's decided, I'll get back to you on the color. Please do. Hmm? You felt silent all of a sudden. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Were you thinking about your parents? Wow. What's wrong? Were you thinking about your dead parents? And how they were murdered in front of you? Does it make you sad, working on clothes, since they were tailors too? Oh, that's not it. I mean, yes, I was thinking about my parents, but... 
I thought that my parents would be proud to see me fitting Hushidan royalty. I'm sure they're both smiling down on their daughter from above. I hope so. <laughs> it's weird, though. What is? It's just very unlike you to shower praise on people. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen you be this kind to anyone. What's next? Will foxes start sitting on hen's eggs? I don't know. Ask Caden. Caden, what you doing? On it! <laughs> Is that really how I... <laughs> I was kidding. I'll accept your compliments in the spirit you meant them. Bye. Glacious. Mm. <laughs> well, speaking of... Come on. Just a little bit more. Hey, Elboro. What you doing? Oh, Caden! Don't scare me like that. Oops. You just looked so focused on whatever it was that I had to know. I was braiding something. Oh yeah. It's a My particular. <laughs> it's a particular way of braiding silk yarn into cords. You can use the cords to decorate swords or on kimono sashes. This one's a bracelet. Oh, right. I've seen that. It's really pretty when it comes out right. I didn't know you were so talented, Obero. Uh, my parents used to run a clothing store, that's all. They taught me how to do this stuff when I was little. I like to kill time when there's nothing else to do by making these. Hey, don't undersell it. It must take real skill to make these bracelets. I mean, look at how detailed they are up close. It's something else. If you like them that much, do you want to try making one? I think he's just holding one up and just staring at it, like hypnotizing himself. <laughs> just following the pattern with his eyes. Like, whoa! <laughs> They're just silly bands. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I'm up to that. Sure you are. It's easy, once you get the hang of it. I bet you can learn in no time. Really? Maybe I'll take you up on that. I'd be happy to teach you. I'll let you know when I've got some materials together. Okay. I'll be waiting. Well, that was a sweet one, and didn't involve someone petting him in a creepy way. He seems to really like that, though. Yeah. He does. <laughs> Joker. Dude, do you ever, like, wonder what the ends of the cosmos look like? He's looking at the bracelet. <laughs> oh, hello, Hannah. I thought you were someone more interesting. Lady Corny? Sorry about what I said the other day, and just now, I guess. No need to apologize. I'm over it now. You are my commander, after all, Lady Corny. I respect your leadership. No, I want to apologize. It was simply rude of me to not even consider your feelings before speaking. This is a lesson that Azama could learn, but never will. Stop it. You're just making me look like someone deserving of pity. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I just thought that Sakura might be crushed if you did what your father did. You know, like... Eat it for her. That's all. Jeez. Lady Sakura, what are you talking about now? Before, you were mad at me for making Sakura cry. I can see why you'd respect your father for his sacrifice and want to honor him. 
But imagine if you died protecting your liege. Sakura would be crushed. She would never want that to happen. And she'd probably have trouble moving on. I can't stand thinking about a future like that. And I bet that you can't either, right? Well, I hadn't considered that. I understand it's a really important thing for a samurai to protect her master. But isn't there more to protecting your master than just the physical act? You're right. I'll marry her. Uh, that's not what I meant. I don't want to see Sakura cry anymore either. Hana! That's all I was trying to convey before. I'm sorry I didn't do it well. Plan. <laughs> Hannah does feel kind of bland, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, Lady Corny. Thank you for this conversation. I'm sorry I was so hostile toward you. No, it's fine. I think we're... I think we've both grown from this. Well, they're done. He died like a true knight. <laughs> This is the A? Oh my god, so not good at Toko. <laughs> that was the A. Thankfully, we've gotten through uh, a few of Corny's and they're, they're actually done. Hana, do you recall what it was I told you the other day? Um, of course. Something about not being too reckless on the battlefield? That's right. And I heard that you charged alone directly into the enemy ranks today. But I could hear them laughing, saying I'd be an easy foe because I'm a girl. When has that ever come up in the Fire Emblem franchise? It seems pretty normal. For women to be fighting too. I wasn't about yeah, to let that all stand. The time. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't consider your place in the bigger battle plan, though. She's imagining things when she's in battle. I believe that. Our battle formation could have broken down because of your actions. Not to mention that everyone was worried about your well-being. Surrounded like that. I'm sorry. I know all too well how emotions can get under one's skin and drive irrational acts. Yeah, he's talking about Saizo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Saizo charge into battle on his puppet? I have experienced it firsthand. Do you know what it's like growing up with Saizo? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we have this game. <laughs> I got down. your number, Fates. <laughs> My brother Saizo can really let his emotions get the best of him. That's so funny because it's really set up like he's talking, you know, he's saying like, oh, yeah, I've been through that. And then he's like, no, it's my brother. He's definitely given me a scare before. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why I spoke up. Drawing strength from your emotions is good, but don't get carried away by them. I understand. Sorry to have worried you, Kaze. It wasn't just me. Everyone was worried about you. Just keep that in mind the next time we're in battle, okay? Okay, I understand. Now then, let me care for your wound. It looks like just a slight graze, but we can't leave it that way. Thanks for helping. I want to get patched up so I can get back to training. This isn't going to heal overnight. Will you at least take it easy for a few days? Okay, okay. Once I'm better, though, will you join me for my training sessions? 
When you're around, I seem to be able to keep my cool much more easily. Sounds good. Just let me know when you're all healed up and... Yay! I'll be looking forward to it! Ready. Well, Discord. That was interesting, Discord. Saizo is my favorite Kitaverse character now. Yay! <laughs> I always uh, love to hear who you guys end up liking, especially if they're different from when you played. <laughs> Happen to have an Azura <laughs> TM panty band-aid right here. <laughs> Control your emotions or you'll end up playing with puppets. <laughs> Oh, man. Kase really, like, that support really, that was their A support, I think. And, again, it really feels like he's just being a paternal figure. Kase's always just a dad. Yeah. I don't know who to pair him with. <laughs> the only one that really hasn't seemed like a, a dad has been the one where he's now... Orochi's little kitty. That's true. There you are, Tsubaki. Are you ready for the first challenge? We agreed to start with swordsmanship, didn't we? That's correct. And then we'll move on to horseback riding. Right. Each of us gets our specialties, and we'll continue until one of us slips up. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Then it's down to business. On guard! Ha! Uh, it's no use. You're too good. Your skill with the sword is, dare I say, better than my own. Of course it is. Everyone thinking you're so perfect is great, but it doesn't make it so. If nothing else, I won't lose to you in a sword play contest. Ha! 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 You've got me on my heels. I can only barely block your attacks. Or can I? What do you mean? An opening! Ow! How did that happen? You actually landed a winning blow on me. I can't believe it. Huh. You are definitely faster and more agile than I when it comes to the sword. You are clearly one with your blade. Then, how is this possible? Simple. I've been studying you during our training for months. I observed your habits and developed tactics to counter them. Are you kidding me? I suspected a day would come where we'd face off, so I planned ahead. He's like Batman. He has like a contingency plan to take down everyone else. <laughs> Whenever you alternate left, right, left, right, you follow with a downward slash. Once I knew the timing, I devised the perfect counterattack. That's cheating! Not in the least. This was a victory of brains over brawn. Plain and simple. What more proof do you need that I am in fact perfect? And not just boasting. You should always strategize before a battle. Going in blind is reckless. Hmm. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but you're right. You deserve this win. <laughs> the first battle is mine. Yeah, but then she's probably going to beat him in the next one. And they're just going to be like, oh, we're tied. Is she Link? Yes, in fact, she is. Link is her inspiration. Aw, thanks, Wildcat. <laughs> she has a lot of battle yells that she does. Silas, care to explain what you were doing in that last battle? 
What is that supposed to mean? I was watching the way you were fighting before. Based on what I saw, I don't think you have the right to criticize my technique. I think I see where this is going. Is this some kind of payback for my comments the other day? It sure is. So I'll ask you the same thing you asked me. Just what is it you're fighting for? That's easy to answer. I'm fighting for Lady Corny, my old friend, the new lover. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> old friend, huh? Seems exactly like my reasoning. You also want to marry your friend. Huh, I hardly think it is fair to compare the two of us. My dedication is far stronger. Oh my god. That the situations are similar is a coincidence. What? Okay. I don't know exactly how strongly you feel for Corny, but I am really dedicated to Lady Sakura. Oh, go on. Tell me how deep your loyalty runs. All right. Lady Sakura and I are like... What's the matter? I'm not going to do it. Our relationship cannot be expressed adequately in words. I think trying to do so would only cheapen it. I see. Well, you may have a point there. I wouldn't be right to try... It wouldn't be right to try and describe my bond with Corny either. But then how can we determine who holds their friend in the higher regard? I'm not one to leave a contest unresolved. Hmm. That's true for me as well. Then why don't we do this? We'll show our loyalty through direct competition. Whenever possible, we'll meet here and spar. That's a good idea. Our weapons will show the passion we feel for our friends. We'll prove our salt. Let's do it. Bring it on. <laughs> Why must everything be a contest? Because uh, it's Hannah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they're friends, right? <laughs> Ow, ow, ow! Caden, what happened to your arm? Were you injured in the last battle? Yeah. I guess I wasn't being as careful as I should have been. See, I told you. If you don't train regularly, your body will get out of shape and you'll be in danger. Even enemies you're physically stronger than will be able to outperform you. Oh, uh, sorry. Guess I should have listened. Here, I have some medicine I can share. Let me see your arm. You're going to care for my wound? Of course. Don't get me wrong, I sort of think you deserve this. But you're my friend and a teammate, so I'll help you just the same. Wow, thanks, Hannah, for not letting him bleed out. Anna. He's like, man, normally I just like lick it when I get a wound. <laughs> You're like putting medicine on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that about wraps it up. It looks much better now. I just had a thought. If Caden has a daughter, <laughs> I'm going to just do his voice. Nice. <laughs> Epic. Yeah. <laughs> Go, little girl, me. I'm so excited. <laughs> to be fair, I think Caden would be a good dad. Caden would probably be the best dad, except Kaze. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Perfection, best idea. All right. I have a plan now. Caden Jr., Freaking Sizo's gonna be like, <laughs> just try to escape his kid. He'll just keep he would poofing. Also, he, <laughs> <laughs> he, he would just name her Kaden, but like K A D E N N E.
Daisuke's kid's gonna be great. I am really interested to see what these kids are like. <laughs> Especially after all of this lore. And it's just, it's even better that they're tied to the dads, I think. <laughs> Kaden and Kaze are the best dads simply due to being actually sane and normal people. <laughs> Sizer's kid has a fear of puppets. Oh my god. Well, that's gonna make the relationship difficult. You shouldn't worry. It's only a light wound, really. Thanks so much. Uh, sorry to ask, but could you help this little one, too? Wait, you already have your kid? Oh, look at that little bird. Oh no, is its wing hurt? Did he steal that bird from Benny? In that battle. Oh, he might have. Yeah, I saw it get clipped during the battle and I felt so sorry for it. Caden. Were you injured protecting this little birdie in the middle of a battlefield? That's basically what happened, yeah. That was a stupid thing to do. What? How can you say something like that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to sound as rude as it came out. But if you had died in battle trying to protect a little bird... Imagine how you'd feel. Well, I'd be dead, so I don't think I'd be <laughs> feeling a whole lot of anything. You know what I mean. Anyway, I'll look after this bird. Thanks. I owe you one. He did take Benny's bird. I think he did. I mean, I guess Benny, you know, got stabbed in the stomach and fell over, and then Kaden was like, whoa, free bird! <laughs> yeah, free bird! Sweet! <laughs> and loose! Ah, oh, Prince Takumi. I see you are practicing your archery today. Indeed. Alone. It seems odd for you to point that out. After all, you did say you wanted to train without anyone knowing you were. Yes, but... No, never mind. If you aren't here to help, then can you leave? I have a question for you, Prince Takumi. What? <laughs> what is it you expected me to do to help you train? It seems like all I would be able to do is sit and watch you fire arrows at targets. With help, I could do some different kinds of training. You really are pretty self-centered and lazy, you know that? I don't think he's lazy. Hmm, just another of your misconceptions, Pr Prince Takumi. I simply prioritize Lady Corny over all others, as I should, being her retainer. I didn't know that he was her retainer. I thought he was her butler. Oh, potato, potato. <laughs> but to the complete exclusion of all others, that's not something to be proud of. Anyway, you're not planning to just hang around all day, right? You're distracting. Actually, Lady Corny asked me to help you with your training. Since it was a direct request from her, I happily obey. I think she's doing it to torture Takumi. Really? Well then. You can help by standing over here. Just know that Lady Corny only asked me to help you with your training, and that's all. 
I will not do anything that doesn't directly relate to your practice. <laughs> You're incredibly difficult to work with. <laughs> That's just a matter of opinion. Lady Corny doesn't complain. Ah. Uh, fine. Just sit over there. Understood. I'm glad to be of service. I now was waiting for put this. Put this apple on your head. Prince Takumi, I don't see how this... You're helping with my archery training. This will help me practice discipline. While it's tempting to aim a little lower, I must fight that impulse and hit my target. You can refuse, of course, but I'll inform Corny that you weren't helpful. I... Okay. Don't worry. I haven't messed this shot up yet. Though that could mean I'm due to make a mistake. Uh, maybe I could have been a bit nicer. Well, Silas is like, yes, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Corny thinks Takumi needs a dad figure. Unfortunately, she said the worst man for the job. Him, Gunter, and the maid sisters were Corny's retainers. Damn, she had a bunch. Everyone else only has two. Good day, Ryoma. Would now be a good time to chat? Ah, Corny. Yes, I suppose I have some time right now. But where to begin? Hmm. Ah, perhaps I could start with the siblings. Like little Hinoka, the crybaby. Hinoka? A crybaby? I can't see it. Yes, well, she has matured tremendously. That's not my voice. Now <laughs> she's an excellent model soldier. Takumi, on the other hand, has not reached the same level of maturity. Just earlier today, he was threatening to shoot your butler in the face. <laughs> but Takumi seems so strong and self-assured. Perhaps, but remember that very hard substances are often brittle. Why are you speaking in riddles, Ryoma? <laughs> Takumi's emotions are fragile. He needs to work on his mental fortitude. Toko! <laughs> By <laughs> taking my course for nineteen ninety nine <laughs> in meditation and self-improvement. <laughs> now she also has Kaze and Silas is basically her retainer too. So yeah, she's hogging them all. She took them all. <laughs> Toko, I, mean... I just saw that. <laughs> Hinoka well... has matured magnificently. <laughs> oh God. I mean, to be fair, Corny did lose one of them because Gunter is still falling down that pit. I really hope that by the end of the game, it's like it takes place there. And then at the very end, he finally hits the ground. End credits. God! <laughs> <laughs> Corny's just like, well, I guess it had a bottom after all. <laughs> credits. <laughs> Oh, perfect. <laughs> that said, I believe in him. I think he has a promising future ahead. I see. <laughs> I'm glad one of us does. As for Azura, she's always been a bit distant, even as a child. That's I'm because... really not sure what's up with that one. That's because she's a merwolf. She's kind and wise, but I wish she knew how to open up a little bit. It's a fascinating to hear your perspective like this. Please continue. Certainly. Let's see. Where was I? Ah, Sakura. She's a gentle soul, 
always worrying about others. My hope for her is that she can learn to be a bit more selfish. It would serve her well. Thank you, Ryoma. I really appreciate your insights. She spent more time with them recently than he has. I think she should have figured this stuff out on her own. I think yeah, it's she has. I think it's wonderful that you've spent so much time thinking about your family. Well, as the eldest, I suppose I feel a certain responsibility to care for them and guide them and love them in many love ways. Love them a lot. Hug them. Squeeze them. And of course, I spend a great deal of time in self-reflection every morning before 6 a.m. I'm not without my vaults. Well, you're human. Nobody is perfect. But you are a wise and caring older brother, Ryoma. Everyone looks up to you. And some of us want to marry you. Thank you, Corny. I hope it's you. That means <laughs> a lot coming from you. I just wish I knew more about my own background. Yes, your story is a troubling one. I hope that I can help you put a few of those pieces together. But I'm afraid even I don't know nearly the whole of it. Thank you, Ryoma. I really appreciate it. Anytime, Corny. Responsibility, says the man who abandoned them to go LARP <laughs> with, with Xander. Are you ready to start training, Takumi? Yes. Jacob's laying in the background with an arrow through his face. <laughs> Good. But first, there's something I want to say to you. Please stop killing the butlers. Ryoma, if this is about the other day, I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. It's too late to apologize. <laughs> I heard that I in love the song, that song. once. <laughs> Actually, you made me very happy. I did? Yes. I'm glad you want to fight by my side. But I need more than strong soldiers. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Brilliant there, buddy. No, I was just thinking, I was like, I need love, tender I love need... and care. I need... <laughs> Tender loving. <laughs> One day I will rule all of Hoshido. One day, lad. <laughs> all of this will be yours. All of this. Everything the light touches will be yours. <laughs> and I'll need all of my siblings to support me. When that time comes, I need more than your strength on the battlefield. What do you mean? <laughs> I hear you laughing, but not in Discord. <laughs> Allow me to give you something you've never once had in my in your life. My respect. Damn. Dad told me that you were not his favorite. <laughs> You're going to need to change that. <laughs> I will need wise counselors. Takami, have you thought about studying government? Government? Yes. You are a skilled warrior, and you're only going to get stronger. But you're smart as well. With your sharp mind, you'd make an excellent advisor. Do you really think so? I do. Also, we're in the 1%, so you can study wherever you want. <laughs> but I don't think... But I don't want you to... But I don't want you to pigeonhole yourself, Takumi. You have many skills. And I will need all of them. Your mind, your loyalty, and your strength, and your love and care. <laughs> Thanks, Ryoma. 
I guess I was worried over nothing. Lucy? <laughs> and Xander shall be my queen. <laughs> I thought if I wasn't the strongest warrior on the battlefield, I'd be worthless to you. Not at all. Don't push yourself so hard. Most of all, brother, I want you to be you. All right. I think I can do that. I, I think I can be me. That seems easy. It's not a hard <laughs> task. I certainly hope so. <laughs> and it, your body. It writes itself. It does. Oh, here's the puppet master. Saizo the filth. <laughs> Saizo, can we talk? It's about the puppet. What about the puppet, Kagero? <laughs> In the battle the other day, you gave orders to the troops that put them at risk. Our goal was important, but there were less dangerous ways to accomplish it. This is an old conversation between us. Some objectives are important enough that they demand a certain level of sacrifice. I understand why you want to avoid that, but our path in life sometimes demands it. In these dark times, we often have no say in the matter. I love how they're both facing away from each other with scarves on, cleavage out. <laughs> <laughs> the parallelism. <laughs> Why do we always discuss this? Neither of us will change our stance. That we couldn't adapt to one another is why we broke up. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What is this relationship Bombshell. lore? He still looks old enough to be her dad, but they don't care, I guess, in this game. It was definitely a factor. And your love of puppets creeped me out. You think only of protecting Lord Ryoma, whereas I weigh the cost of doing so. We're walking the same we're walking to the same destination, just taking a different road to get there. True. At least we only differ slightly, and thus can still work together as retainers. <laughs> the puppet retainers broke them up. Retainers were having an affair. Oh damn! Wonder how Ryoma felt about that. Looks old and looks old enough, but it's is not, so it's fine. You mean he looks way older than he is? I guess it was just the the revenge quest, just like aged him. You're waiting for this to be revealed. I cannot imagine these two together. <laughs> Azura does... in the corner, shaking with rage. <laughs> does the puppet look like her? Oh, God. It's me or the puppet, Saizo, and he said the puppets. <laughs> and I said the puppets. <laughs> now I'm picturing him putting one of them on, the, on a tricycle, like, in Saw. <laughs> This one's name is Billy. <laughs> well, now his puppet is canonically named Billy. <laughs> Billy's his favorite. I imagine he had a collection because he was getting ready to take the test so that he could change into that class. And the whole time, Kigero is like, this isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> Toko, Billy does things Kagero can't. <laughs> oh no. The puppet is better in bed, Wildcat. Horrific. I... We know that Orochi, Saizo, and Kagero are around the same age. So I can only assume that he is the most stressed man in this army. And Kaze, too. Yeah, they're all, like, around the same age. So he definitely, uh... Needs to... He needs to take Ryoma's class, I think. And learn how to meditate and calm himself. Everyone needs to take my class. <laughs> Kagero's like, not again. <laughs> <laughs> she already got a refund once. 
She wasn't satisfied. <laughs> All right, this, this puppet thing has gone too far already. <laughs> our vow to not let the end of our romance distract us from our duty was important. I, I cannot take the, I just... These two together. I can't fathom that. Do you think the puppet has a mouth like a nutcracker? It does. Look at it in the cutscenes. That gives all new meaning to nutcracker. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> That's not sexy. Akita. What? Yeah, that is not the worst thing that's been said this evening. No, but it just makes me think of the pain. Besides, <laughs> I was into it. <laughs> I'm glad we've held to it. Do you think he got caught in a pyramid scheme after buying the class in Noor and now he's trying to make his money back? Yes, Angel Feathers. Yes, I do. That's why everybody hates the Norians because they're all MLM salesmen. <laughs> <laughs> this is the primary when, export of Noor is MLMs. When someone says that their family was killed... By Norians, what they actually mean is their family was sucked into an MLM and they have not escaped. <laughs> it's a it's a figurative death. <laughs> we now know truly what sent Sizer over the edge. <laughs> we made that vow so long ago, and yet it still feels like yesterday. Indeed. Seeing each other daily makes it easy to forget that time passed. There is truth in that. How awkward. You break up and then you're still stuck together. That's why you don't date your coworkers. That's right. <laughs> yeah! Ha! Take that! Huh. You're getting better. I can feel the strength behind your attacks. So take this. Ha! Gah! Ha! That won't work this time. Ha! <laughs> what the? Ugh. Did I? Did I just land a clean hit? His arms like on the floor. I was gonna say his arms laying on the ground. Yeah, you finally got me. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Guess that means we got some talking to do. What? Oh, are you actually going to tell me why you're training so hard then? reason is I'm working to a goal a goal what's that what's that <laughs> oh of course yeah it's Lord Takami he's hoping that if he proves himself he will win Takami's hand in marriage Akita you're killing me you're welcome My brother? What about him, little loser? Can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. See, I come from a long line of warriors who have served Hoshido. Mm-hmm. Even before I learned to walk, I learned to use a katana. I don't believe that. I learned that. quick, too. That seems like a lie. That's absolutely a lie. How would you use the katana if you couldn't walk? You can't stand. You're lying. I'm, just, I'm offended by that lie. That's a stupid lie. <laughs> well, it's an auto. Maybe he's looking to usur usurp the name of Takumi. <laughs> just like Saizo usurped the name of Saizo. <laughs> Maybe it's like the Santa Claus movie where if you kill Santa Claus, you become Santa Claus. So Hinata thinks that if he gets strong enough and kills Takumi, he will become Takumi. Hence why he did his hair like that. 
He who kills Saizo becomes Saizo. <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah, that works for everyone, right? I thought that being Lord Takami's retainer would be easy too, but... But what? One day, he challenged me to a match. The rules were the same as ours. He even selected the katana as our weapon so we'd be on equal terms. He absolutely destroyed me. You lost that badly? My head was spinning. He beat me so fast. Everyone knows Lord Takami is skilled with a bow, but he's just as good with a katana. I was so mad at myself for losing and for underestimating him. It was a big hit to my pride. How can I protect him if he can beat me? What was I even doing there? So I swore I would become as strong as him. That's what drives me to train. Thanks for sharing your story, Hanada. Although I must admit, I zoned out a few times. It was kind of boring. Someday I'll be stronger than him and I'll prove to everyone that I can protect him. Oh, you're, you're still going? Him and everyone else in Hoshido. Okay. I'll be cheering you on, Hinata. <laughs> Thanks. Coming from you, that gives me a lot of confidence in my work. I hope you'll continue to practice with me. Of course. <laughs> Corny would absolutely zone out of most of these supports. Oh, yeah, 100%. By that logic, the old ninja that killed Saizo's dad became Saizo's dad. <laughs> the twist. Yeah, so then Saizo had to kill him so he could get the name Saizo back. It's this all coming as together. This is the elder wand. <laughs> That's, I think this is what age Saizo. It's a lot. He was born with a katana and used it to cut his way out of the womb. I mean, that sounds about right. Hinata, come back. Sorry, I was fighting the Xbox. What? It kept turning itself on. I swear, this is why. It's gonna be a PC gamer, God. <laughs> Hinata zoned out of his own support. <laughs> he just trails off in the middle of the story whoa what was I talking about again I'm still thinking about that talk I had with Lady Hinoka the other day she said she couldn't count on her retainers but maybe I can help hey is that her over there she looks a little unsteady <sighs> ugh Oof. Oof. Yikes. Lady Hinoka, are you okay? Hmm? Oh, Hinata, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm just a little dizzy is all. I don't want to lecture you, Lady Hinoka. But do you think you might be working too hard? Not in the least. But we fought in a battle today. And yet you're also training. Why don't you take it easy for a little bit? Even just a single day. I suppose you have a point. I'll, I'll go rest in the shade of that tree over there. Is that enough? Yes. Here, I'll walk with you in case you need a hand. Thank you. 
I can't believe I got that exhausted. I know I said it before, but you really should learn to rely on others more. We're all willing to help out if you just ask. I'll make a point to remember that. I don't mean to worry everyone. Just feel like I haven't reached my full potential, so I have to keep working. Lady Hinoka. Ah, oh, wipe the look off your face. I promise I'll rest for the remainder of the day. I'll head back to my room for now. I come too? <laughs> Good, I can escort you there. <laughs> huh, don't worry, I can make it. I'll talk to you later. I see what you're trying to do. Jeez. Even when exhausted, she's fast. Azama's contractually obligated to help and he still doesn't. God, that truffula tree hairstyle is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like Anata might have a little crush. Might have a tiny crush. He wants to get into those tomboy pants. <laughs> well then. Oh, here you go. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why did it take that? What I do? What I do to deserve <laughs> this? At least it's not stupid. Whatever is fucking face is Azama. <laughs> Hi, Otto. Wait up. Oh, it's just you, Kaden. Say, what's with all the apples? He has to replace them because Takumi shot Jacob Takumi and the apple. shot them all. <laughs> well, I went back to the orchard to pick again, but I grabbed too many. I gave some to Kaze, but he really didn't want them. I thought I'd come and share them with you. <laughs> Kaze's like, please stop giving me fruit. <laughs> ah, I see. Those apples were quite delicious. I suppose I'll take you up on the offer. Thanks, Kaden. It's really all I can eat when they make those nasty fried vegetables. <laughs> Didn't you have a good time climbing that tree? We could always go back. Whoa, now, hold on. Uh, please don't say another word. Is something bugging you, Hayato? <laughs> Listen, you're right. Climbing is fun, but I don't want anyone to know I think that. Because that I don't want people to think I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's for little kids. <laughs> that... Doesn't make any sense to me, dude. Yeah. I'm not a child anymore. The last thing I want is for people to know that I'm running around like a little kid. You mean picking fruit for the army? So they can eat? That doesn't seem like such a big deal. Besides, why would your other friends care anyway? Because I said so. Well, if it's childish for you, why does no one ever say anything to me about it? I'm always climbing trees. No one has ever given me any grief. Yeah, meanwhile, Mozu's working the fields by herself. <laughs> well, that's because you're, you know, you. What does that mean? I look way younger than you, so I would probably get teased. Hmm. I understand. He doesn't. <laughs> so Narrator, he doesn't. You don't want people to ever think that you're having fun. Say, I have an idea. There's a typo. That's rare. What if what you, if, you? <laughs> what if you, you just gather the apples and share them with everyone? <laughs> I 
I mean, maybe Kate. Maybe it was on purpose, and that sh that was just Caden. It would fit. <laughs> what if you you just go gather the apples? <laughs> that way, your that. your climbing will just make everyone think you're thoughtful. Now I'm starting to think he's a robot. <laughs> like he's starting to short <laughs> he's circuit. He's getting stuck. <laughs> what if you 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 go gather the apples? Yeah, hey, like, I was like, oh, what the what hell? The fuck? <laughs> I have to admit, that's a smart idea. When we head out next time, let's just say we're harvesting. We might as well grab a lot of fruit while we're out there. Yeah, sure. Great. Next time I get the urge to go climbing, I'll let you know. That sounds good. Robot Fox Boy made by Muriel. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. She's successfully cloned people, so I could see her going into it, you know, something else. She doesn't want to get bored. Thanks for going shopping with me, Kaden. I had a great time. No problemo. Glad I was able to help pay you back for that delicious candy. This music is very sentimental. <laughs> so, were you able to find everything you needed? Yes, thank goodness. My go-to armor was starting to show its age. It's just very out of fashion, you understand. I had to get the new armor that's in. Thanks to you, I was able to find what I needed in a flash. I'm so glad you know Gucci. <laughs> you made the right call when you decided to take moi along. After all, no one in the whole world has an eye for aesthetics quite like mine. Wow. I do have the best eyesight in camp. You speak French? Ha 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 ha! You're too much, Kaden. Really, though, I was impressed by your attention to detail. I wish I had such a keen eye for quality craftsmanship. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome like that. It was so much fun, too. You're funny when you're shopping and your face is all like, whoa, aww. Well, I'm glad to hear that I amuse you. Today was a success for both of us. Sure was. So would you say my debt has been paid now? Hmm. Well, actually, no. You see, Takumi killed my butler and I need a new one. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Thanks again. Anytime. Man, it feels great to finally be appreciated. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to buy that thing before we left. What's that? Did you forget something? Huh? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. I was just thinking out loud. Um, okay, if you say so. So what did he forget, guys? <laughs> what was he gonna buy? A tail brush. Oh, well you went to a much more innocent place. Oh, and I did. <laughs> is that what Joke. his tail is? Is his tail a butt plug? So he can have two tails? He can be like tails! Miles per hour! <laughs> Joker, Joker's like really s sweet and it's like a wedding ring and the rest of Chad's like butt stuff <laughs> Azura asked, asked them to buy her extra panties and they forgot oh oh my god what'd we forget Azura's like you did remember my undergarments didn't you um 
No. Oh, no. <laughs> you didn't mean it in a sweet way, Joker. Well, you meant a different kind of ring? A cock ring. Okay, thank you, Ryoma. <laughs> thank you for spelling that out, Ryoma. That's what I'm here for. Kaden needed to buy an update for his operating system. It seems like he's still running like Vista, so he probably should. He's on Linux. <laughs> to be honest, Azura, I've gotten used to you not wearing them. <laughs> it's starting to be a little hot. When I'm not watching the screen, sometimes I can't tell at all what is ad-libbed and what is the script. <laughs> That is our goal. <laughs> My God, do you remember when Con Basilio in Awakening shared his advice to Krom? It was just <laughs> butt plug. It was great advice. I'm glad Caden took it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you think we could hang out again sometime soon? There's something I want to show you. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. Anytime. <laughs> he just pops his tail right out of his butt. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck, Kaden? <laughs> Look, it's removable. <laughs> Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> oh, wild cat. And now I can poop. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> See you later, Corny. <laughs> La -da 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 -da. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that Kaden, what a character. I wonder what he wants to show me. Oh, God. If only you knew, Corny. You're not ready for it. Kaden is literally someone's Sonic character gone. Someone's just, Sonic <laughs> OC gone wrong. Yeah. In a fan fiction. The things he wants to show you. Sometimes I feel like we've gone too far. I, I think fate started that way, though. I don't think there was any way to keep this from not going too far. Fate took up the mantle. Fate started, so Awakening, I think, went, like, right up to the line. Yep. Fate started at the line and kept going. That's right. Fate did it to itself. This isn't even Conquest. What is going <laughs> to happen in Conquest? <laughs> You're going to have to add, like... <laughs> An intro to the start of the VOD videos. <laughs> the following is intended only for mature audiences. Your discretion is advised. <laughs> okay, so. Pegasus Grooming 101. <laughs> I'm listening. First, the tails are not removable. Second, <laughs> use... <laughs> A hard bristle brush gently to untangle the hair and loosen up all the muck. Like so. <laughs> Next, change to the coarse bristle brush to remove the finer pieces of dirt. <laughs> and lastly, the sound effect. You use the short bristle brush to add glossiness to the coat. Rup, 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 rup. <laughs> and voila! You're finished. What does the Pegasus sound like? 
<laughs> Thanks for that. What? Caden. I'm sorry, but could you go over that again? I wasn't paying attention. That was way too fast for me. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I guess it's just second nature to me by now. I was reading aloud from WikiHow. I guess I'll just have to <laughs> slow down. <sighs> it's okay. I just need you to go a little slower. But you really are very skilled. Can't believe how quickly you cleaned her. Game tier Microsoft Sam Pegasus. <laughs> Nay, 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 nay. Maybe they sound like uh, when SpongeBob's trying to get the seahorse back and he's like, Mystery, we snaw! We snaw! <laughs> That's another one that I haven't seen. You haven't seen the seahorse episode? Wow. Divorce. What the fuck? Listen, I'm very serious about SpongeBob, okay? You were the one that watched Spongebob. Yes, and if this relationship is going to work, you need to also watch Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> she, sh she says this stuff, and then whenever we're sitting down here to watch shows, it's not Spongebob that she puts on. I didn't know you wanted to watch Spongebob. I don't I, know. You never say what you want to watch. I guess I'm, I'm indifferent to Spongebob, I guess. You won't be when I'm done. Yikes. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit uncomfy right now <laughs> with the vibes that you're giving to me. Come back next week. Eco is no longer part of the series. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kuri instead reading for all the guys. <laughs> Oh my god. Yep. I've honed my technique down to the finest details, so I waste no time. But skill isn't the most important thing for grooming an animal. Oh? Then what is? <laughs> Knowing if the tail is removable? <laughs> love, of course. Without love, all the technique in the world won't help you. Yeah, Ryoma says that, too. I'm pretty <laughs> sure this old girl would much <laughs> rather have you groom that. her than me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Thanks, Caden. I appreciate your help. I'll try my hardest to be the best student possible. I'm glad to hear it. And your Pegasus seems happy about it, too. <laughs> You guys spend a lot of time bonding, don't you? You bet. She's my partner, after all. Without her, I don't know where I'd be. Probably on the ground. Probably on the <laughs> ground. <laughs> it warms my heart to hear you say that. So, ready to try again? Absolutely. Are they going to keep brushing the same Pegasus? Because I feel like that would get painful after a while. Maybe they should try a different one. <laughs> Ryoma's catchphrase, make love not war like a lot of love constantly. <laughs> Welcome back, Joker. The Pegasus gets sick of him and just like kicks him through the window. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Cowabunga! <laughs> Do you need something? Hello? Saizo, is it you again? We broke up ages ago, Saizo. You've got to stop following me. Don't play coy. I know you're hiding in the shadows. Show yourself. <laughs> wow, Kagero! That was amazing! How did you know I was there? Your presence was easy enough to detect. You smell... What do you want? What? You've been following me all day. You mean I smell like Gucci? <laughs> I was just curious if there was anything you needed help with. You're asking just out of the blue? Why? I want to repay you for your help in that battle the other day. 
I thought I was a goner, but you saved my tail <laughs> from the enemy. <laughs> More like you saved that enemy from his tail. I was gonna say you saved you saved it from an enemy yanking it out. <laughs> Just pop. <laughs> Flash cuts to Hinoka decked out in the generic Lance Lancer class armor. Yep, that's me on the ground. <laughs> I see. Considering we are allies, I don't think you need to repay me for my help. In any case, I do not need assistance, nor do I desire anything right now. Now, if that is all you wanted to discuss, I'll be on my way. Hey, wait! Wow, she's a quick one. Not gonna give up that easily, though. The puppet follows her in a jealous rage. <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh my god. Corny? What exactly is supposed to go into writing a letter? You think this woman has ever written a letter? <laughs> <laughs> this is this woman tweets. She doesn't know her letters. Okay? <laughs> she can't write a letter. I don't really know where to start. Well, you're writing to the wind tribe. Try writing wind sounds. <laughs> Perhaps you should let them know how you're doing. Wildcat. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, did you let your cat walk all over your keyboard? Have you gotten anything down on the page yet? Well, I explained how to use the charm that I'm sending and what it does. That's not a letter. It's merely a list of instructions. Boring. Letters should be personal. They should let the reader know what you're getting up to. It has to be personal, huh? Preferably. Oh, I have an idea. Tell them that you can finally sleep after you hear a scary story now. What are you talking about? I've never had a problem with scary stories. Oh, that's not the rumor I heard. But fine, I'll think of something else. I'm sure they would be happy to hear about how much you've grown. No, absolutely not. I would much rather write about my accomplishments on the battlefield. Well, there aren't many of those, so probably not. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a... Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> she just, like, slaps him open palm. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> That's not a terrible idea. Night Lost, thank you for the reset for three months and all those emotes. <laughs> Corny's letters. <laughs> They're just emotes. <laughs> thank you so much, Night. I hope you enjoy those emotes. <laughs> he is prototype Lysithia, I'm telling you. <laughs> Send them your <laughs> fanfics. I saw you take on a whole group of faceless just the other day. You really have been a wonderful asset in the war, Hayato. He would write friend fictions. What are friend fictions? It's like fan fictions, but about your friends. Oh, I hope no one does that about me. Please don't. This is a boundary that I'm setting. Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Uh, that gives me some good ideas for my letter, actually. Now he's just gonna brag. War stories it is. Good luck with your writing. Let me know if you need any help. Okay. Thank you. 
Say, maybe you should write a letter too. Oh, you think so? But I'm illiterate. <laughs> I thought she'd be like, and who would I send it to, you little shit? <laughs> Garen? <laughs> my sister who tried to kill me? I don't know. My sister's kind of hot. I'll write her a letter, I guess. <laughs> yeah. She really is kind of hot. I, I mean, it, it feels strange to be the only one writing one. I will kill you. Oh, my God. Maybe you could entertain me with some of your tall tales. I love to read stories. So you want a letter, huh? Sure, I suppose I can do that. Great. That way, we can see who's the better writer. You or me. But just so you know, I don't plan on losing this competition. <laughs> well... <laughs> I suppose that I'll have to do my best work then. She's gonna have Jacob write it. Jacob, this is a waste of my time and I'm illiterate. Do it. <laughs> I'm illiterate. Courtney writes a letter to Garon. It's just the big picture of a middle finger. <laughs> Wildcat, same page. I didn't even see you say that. Corny really just said, tell your family about all the people you massacred in your last battle. Yep. Y yep. Delicious. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course not. That's cringe as fuck. Haha, -ha, moves all the present Akita novels to the trash can. That sounds like threat level midnight with Michael <laughs> Scarn. <laughs> I'd be very impressed if you wrote an entire novel, Lacious. I would hope that you at least published it on Kindle. I want a screenplay. <laughs> screenplay? I want a full film. <laughs> Hayato, may we talk? The first streamer <laughs> president. Uh, hello, Kagero. Is there something we must discuss? If there is, if there is something is must we discuss... <laughs> Do you also need a software <laughs> upgrade? Caden has also have been having issues. I'm not sure we can afford it for you, though. We may have to recycle you. <laughs> Reboot the boy. <laughs> Umbreons? I accidentally fell asleep like an hour ago to story time. Which part is story time? <laughs> I had to have a memory leak. He blue screens. What? I apologize if I gave up. Oh, That's shit. me! <laughs> oh, you I really must need that upgrade. You're starting to steal my lines. He just got slapped by Corny for talking <laughs> over her, and now he's going to get slapped by Kagero for interrupting her. I think his head spun the whole way around when Corny slapped him. <laughs> That's why he's having a memory leak. <laughs> <laughs> She hit him he, just, he just wandered into this room just babbling. <laughs> She's like, oh, we must talk. <laughs> You're having a problem. Him having a memory leak makes me think that, like, his brain is leaking out of his ear. We were on the end of Mozu or Setsuna. All right, chat, explain to Umbreons what has happened. <laughs> we got some great lore. We learned that Kigero and Saizo were lovers. Scandalous. So that's, that's fun. that's real. That's not, that's that not is our real. plot. That's real. That's canon. That is canon. And they broke up because of the puppet. His name's Billy. Corny slapped him so hard he had an aneurysm. I mean, she is a dragon. I'd imagine that if she <laughs> slapped you across the face, it would do some damage. <laughs> Great destroyer. No, I think that was in the text. 
It was in the it's skull also test. canon. <laughs> I apologize oh, if I dear. gave offense the other day. Could you tell me what I said wrong so that I can avoid offending you in the future? Eh, uh, you can forget it. I harbor no ill will about it. He forgot it because he has a memory leak. I do not, however, plan on continuing the conversation. I'm sorry, but I feel we should. When I asked about the way you talk, you obviously wished to avoid the topic. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't... Again, he and Mozu don't have the accents they're supposed to have. Oops. Eh. <laughs> However, if there is an underlying issue, we can work together as allies to address it. What you say does make some sense. If you still feel uncomfortable about it, I can explain how I talk. You were curious, weren't you? Only because you mentioned how I talk. I do have to admit, though, I'm interested to know more. Well, you see, I'm basically just Azura, but not quite as airy and a little more abrupt. It's my secret. My parents had a formal, traditional style of speaking I learned from them. I really admired the, the respect that speaking in, wi in such a way conveyed. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> I tried to copy them when I was young, and eventually it started just coming naturally. That's the story. It was very boring. I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh yeah, Takumi uh, did try to kill Jacob, and Ryoma is really pro-incest. That's what we learned. Are you unhappy with the way you speak? It isn't that I dislike it. People just find it odd that I speak so, looking how I do. Considering my position within the Wind Tribe, it seems appropriate. Your position? My skills and proficiency caused me to rise quickly to a prominent rank in my tribe. However, my youthful appearance makes some people uncomfortable with my role. <clears throat> As a result, I adjusted how I speak to seem more in control, more adult-like. That explains a great many things. I suppose that I could speak normally when I'm involved in casual conversation, but I don't really recall how to do so, to be honest, and since I don't remember, I've become a bit sensitive to criticism on how I speak now. That is why I lashed out at you the other day. My apologies. To be honest, I don't really care about any of this. That makes sense. If I must, if I may say, I don't find anything wrong with how you speak. You actually sound like everyone else. Except for Leo. He doesn't sound like anyone I've ever heard. Really? Yes, it's, it, we're all very confused. You are strong, you are strong-willed, and you wish to protect everyone using your skills. You speak like someone aware that he carries such a burden. You are the first person to say something like that to me. I'm glad to see you smile. Uh, let us move on from this subject. Do you still wish to inquire about the Wind Tribe? If you don't mind. I suppose we can continue conversing on that topic then. Just think, they could get married. I think if they did, though, Saizo might kill him with the puppet. Oh, instantly. <laughs> as so soon as he gave her, it. As soon as he gave her the ring, the puppet would bite his head off. <laughs> Ryoma, we must preserve the bloodline! <laughs> oh, God. Aw. I think it's because of the, the wellness course that he took and is now in 
because he bought just so much and he's just got to sell all the materials to people. Oh, I thought you were going to say he like got he went so far down the rabbit hole of like self-improvement stuff that he like got to eugenics. Oh no. Rioma, no. And that's where he met Silas. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, Link. How are you? That's a cute Link emote. <laughs> Sizo, so I heard you were recently widowed. <laughs> 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 it's like the night that the puppet killed Hayato and he's like so I heard from a little bird that you're a widow <laughs> how anyway. goes how goes Fire Emblem oh it's off the rails perfectly perfectly exactly as planned nothing out of the ordinary here I have a few ideas of pairing, but some of these people I have no idea. Lucy? Yes, correct. That's the correct answer. Plot twist, Ryoma is even worse than Garon. <laughs> yeah, Garon's just over there living his life, trying to eat his ice cream. You know? Ryoma's over here trying to marry all of his siblings. It, it turns out that Ryoma is the one that's doing the real harm. You've only played Awakening? Awakening is very good. We played Awakening, too. We did. <laughs> Puppet goes to jail for Saizo. It was him, not me. <laughs> that sounds like a Phoenix Wright case. <laughs> we have to cross-examine the puppet. Up. You Baki. She's reading his name off her hand because she can't remember it. Are you there, Sue Baki? Oh, are you watching through Awakening now? You're on chapter 13. Or are you oh my playing gosh. it yourself? Maybe both. I hear that going back and playing the games after watching one of Kiva's playthroughs is never the same. <laughs> You're playing it yourself? Yeah, Awakening was my first Fire Emblem game that I ever played. And I loved it. And then I played a little bit of this one, uh, aka 33 hours, forgot all of it, uh, <laughs> and then sort of came back around for three houses. And now we're here. That's right. <laughs> oh, uh, Lady Corny. Good afternoon. <laughs> What's your hurry? Ah, uh, so I see the rumors were true. You're a pig. <laughs> what rumors are you referring to exactly? Everyone has been talking about you eating so much. I heard that you've been constantly munching on something wherever you go. That has not... When? Has he been eating in any of these other supports? I think this no. is the, fr this is the first... That's the first time this has ever come up. So I got a little worried and wanted to come and find you. No offense, but it really seems like you can't stop shoving food in your mouth. What the f hell? Where is this coming from? Corny! Fruit! Damn, Corny. <clears throat> oh, don't be ridiculous. There's no need to trouble yourself over me. Corny is starting rumors for fun. <laughs> I think she is. But there is. You're my comrade. We need to look out for one another. Does this have anything to do with my overhearing your stomach growling? What do you mean? Okay, so clearly it does. Corny's trying to get the bingo board filled. <laughs> so clearly it does. Listen, this is the only way to make sure that my stomach never growls again. 
All right, I think he's reached pathological levels of perfectionism. It, it's concerning. If I'm always eating, I'll never be hungry. Subaki, you can't keep eating like that. It's not healthy. Besides, it'll just make you get bigger and bigger. She is fat shaming him. Then you won't be able to train anymore. I know you wouldn't want that to happen. Oh, don't you worry about me. I've already calculated how much food I need to stay in fighting shape. Right, but still I'm concerned. I never meant to alarm anyone. Listen, if it really bothers you, I'll give up on my new fitness regimen. Good. Trust me, it's for the best. But what do I do now? I don't know. Slim fast? <laughs> I'd be horrified if someone ever heard my stomach growl again. Why are you so worried about what other people think of you? No one would ever judge you for something so trivial anyway. I could never talk about that with you, Lady Corny. Please excuse me. There he goes again to stuff his face. I'd probably better follow him to make sure he doesn't get any other crazy ideas. Yeah, she's judging him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this army full of idiots? That's a good question, Umbreon's. It's a very good question. So, what do you think? You've been staring at my drawings for some time. I definitely have a better understanding of why you sought my help. Remember how I mentioned that artists look to each other for inspiration? That's not what you need. It's that bad. Oh, gods. It's not that it's bad. You just have a very unique point of view in your art. For example, you labeled this piece Scenic Mountain. But it really looks more like a bloodshot eyeball with its lid half closed. And this one, Infant, infant Resting. The infant has pitch black wings and a fiendish tail. You drew the devil, Kagero. <laughs> I can see now why you want to learn what is considered appropriate in art. I know that what I create isn't right, but I can't seem to produce anything else. I don't think it's wrong, actually. Maybe it's an aspect of your personality using your art to speak through. To change, you'd probably have to destroy that part of you and nurture a new part. How would I destroy a part of me? I guess you'd smother the creative part of you with whatever is conventionally good. You'd have to change your basic understanding of what is beautiful. But I don't even know what that means. Hmm. Have you ever looked at a view or seen a particular person and thought, I like this? Yes, Saizo. And then he got that damn puppet. <laughs> and I thought, I don't like this. <laughs> of course. But when I've tried to illustrate what I saw, it becomes something else. I have no idea why this happens. Maybe that part of you I mentioned is trapped. Only able to emerge in your art. She's possessed by an artist? You aren't just copying what you see. You're adapting it with your feelings. It's a very abstract way of creating your art, but it isn't wrong at all. Hmm. This isn't very easy to understand at all. Hehe. <laughs> That's because our own hearts are very difficult to understand. Looking at your art, 
I can tell you have a lot of chaos in your soul. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well, that abruptly ended. <laughs> what a bizarre thing to say. You have a lot of chaos in your soul. Okay, bye. Okay, see you later. <laughs> see ya. How many more of these do we have? Uh, we don't have that many, but um, my throat is definitely sore. So okay, <laughs> I think I I think we should call it here. Okay. So we will be continuing next week. Um, hopefully getting to the next chapter, doing some more supports. We we are doing pretty well though. Um, some of them some of them are done. Like we have a few here of Cornies that are done. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm, I'm going to wait to focus on the S supports until kind of like everybody is closer to having them. So we are, we are cruising. This was a very lore heavy stream. It sure was. We learned a lot. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Link. Thank you for stopping by. We should we check the building upgrades. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Buildings. Upgrade. Hold on. We're going to, we're going to upgrade these real quick. All right, Smithy, upgrade. Oh, look at that. Accessory shop, upgrade. Woo. Prison, yes, let's upgrade the prison. Upgrade the hot spring. I don't even know what that's gonna do, but sure. We just upgrade all the things. Ha ha. <laughs> okay, did it. Thanks, Umbreons, for the, for the reminder, because I forgot. Thank you. Okay, now, is this Sizos? Puppet is B. Yeah, for Billy! 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 <laughs> Sizo just leaving it around to torment Kagero. God, Sizo, damn it. The prison now is a fun punishment room. <laughs> <laughs> They're all Sizos. Yeah, all the puppets. This is Puppet A. We'll have to figure out what that one's name is. <laughs> the defacing of this game has truly been a group effort, and it's been hysterical. I'm glad. It's like bug snacks and the cactus wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. Billy and Anthony. Andy. Well, Anthony, Andy. <laughs> For some reason, Puppet B is Sizo's most prized puppet. Yeah, I, we'll have to figure out why. <laughs> so... After all of that, uh, we will see you guys next week, and we'll be continuing this utter train wreck. So I hope <laughs> Anthony, perfect, the game tier, remember that, perfect. <laughs> so we will see you then. But I hope you guys have a good weekend. In the meantime, and we'll see I'm you next week. I need the weekend to recover from this. I think they will too. <laughs> But yeah, we will see you next week, guys. I hope you all stop back in. We'll have more of this cursed goodness ready to go. Good night, everyone. Good night. Night. night.